happy with myself through my headphones. Yes, man. Like, I feel real good about this. Pay attention because you are now listening to Permission to Speak Freely. 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 With problems already. <laughs> huh? You know what I'm saying? I said, I hope this I hope this ain't starting out with problems already, man. You know, it was taking a while to get the count going. <laughs> I know, and right? And I, I also, I also, I want to apologize in advance because you're going to see me like randomly, man. I got this sippy cup, man. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So I just went to the gym and I got the BCAA for, for post. So you're going to see me randomly drinking out the sippy cup, man. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And it, it, that might not be the most professional, <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But I got this. You know, we run a tight ship, man. A very professional military. Yeah, body, man. man. Very professional, man. Very professional. You know. What, what's up with you, man? <laughs> look, I'm about to look. I'm, look. Good. <laughs> I'm good, man. I'm good, man. I'm still doing what I do, man. You know, I just want to. <laughs> yeah, I did. I'm okay. <laughs> I was like, I just want you guys to know, we had just said, we read this crazy ass professional Damn. podcast and I'm over here, can't even stop. <laughs> I'm, ch- I'm choking, bro. I'm dying. Are you all right? About- you laughing at me. Yeah, I'm choking. This, oh uh, man, that's going to stay in. Sorry. <laughs> Anybody listen to the podcast? That was the first two minutes. Oh, man. Well, what's up with you? No, man, I'm good, man. You know, doing what I do, doing some inspections, man. Getting ready for, doing inspections, getting ready for some inspections, man. Um, but a couple of things, man, like, you know, football is back. I wanted to throw that out there, man. We had a preseason game. You know, I know it's not a, you know, sports podcast, but I always like to throw a little football stuff in there every now and then, man. You know, things looking, yeah. things are, you know, getting ready for the season, man. And, I, you know, I love football. So looking forward to that shit, getting ready to spend this three, four hundred dollars on this. To look at all the football games. And, you know, it's crazy, man, because. You know, the NFL, then the move to YouTube, bro. And that shit like 300 and some fucking dollars to buy that damn, damn um, football package, man. God damn. Might need some donations for that, man. Might do a, a, get a, you know, some funds and some shit. You know, make a page uh-huh. or something. What kind of page you gonna make? <laughs> <laughs> you, gotta, you gotta be careful with that, man. Oh, I'm just kidding, guys. I'm just kidding. It's funny, man, when I was thinking about potting, man, um, like you got to choke fast, man. Like I, I was literally just choking, man. You got to hurry up and choke real quick so you can get back to potting, man. <laughs> shit ain't right, man. <laughs> like, like you supposed to at least choke for like 40 seconds, oh, man. man. I had to get a, a quick 20-second choke you out, got man. Done, you know what I'm saying? You almost died, quick. man. You know, I had to hurry up and revive myself, <laughs> man. Hey, so, hey, let's just get right to it, man. Yeah. I got to DRB you again. Oh, man. man. I got a DRB, you yo. We love these so for, DRBs, man. I do. I do. <laughs> I, I do for sure. Hey, for the new, if you're a new listener, you you know, you just getting up on us every now and then. We DRB each other, which really mean every now and then I DRB Dave. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, we might DRB teach too. So here's the thing, man. You know, when we first started out the pod, we was reviewing books, right? <laughs> right, David? Yes. And it's just fact we. We fact find it. That's all we do, yeah, right? So yeah, we yeah. was reviewing books. But you stopped reviewing books, right? Yeah. What was your reason? Because <laughs> I was doing school. A school? Yeah. How, how long is that program? <laughs> what you go? What you, what you go? What you go for? To be a doctor? What you show? You try to be a lawyer? <laughs> like, we've been potting for like almost three years, man. How long? <laughs> what? How long hey, you hey, just, hey, I thought you was just at Coastline Academy. First dog. off, man. It, it has to be something to do. Like, I guess, you know, because you guys know Dumbo do a lot of running and then we work out and stuff. It has to be something like them just to sit on that damn bike or on the treadmill and run <laughs> and think of think of some shit like this, man, to come back and get me on, man. But you're right, though. I was definitely I was, I was definitely on the treadmill, <laughs> man. And I was thinking about my book I was going to review. And I'm like, hold up, man. David stopped reviewing a book because he was in school. It's like, what you going for your PhD, man? <laughs> What's I kinda, going on, man? Dude, I, you know what's crazy, man, about my school? And I need, probably need some encouragement out there, man. I got like three classes left, man. And I kind of like took a break, man. Them classes, them, them master's classes be kicking my ass, bro. But I got like three left, man. I took a, I, I took a break for real, man. My break went like six oh. months now, though. <laughs> <laughs> it's just time to finish it. And you're going for your master's, though, man. That's good stuff, yeah. man. Okay, and I see you got the Peralta hat on, too. Right, you got the Peralta hat uh-uh. on, right? You got the Peralta hat on. I, I can't see it. Then. No, That's I got, I got Janice McCain on. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Oh, you got the McKay hat. I got <laughs> the screenplay. I can't see. I got a Peralta hat on. I'm repping, you know, yeah. all these people giving Damon flying squad hats and all that. You know, me, I'm going to do it like I always done it. Self-made. You know what I'm saying? I ain't getting no hats from nobody, man. So it's self-made, man. I got my Peralta <laughs> hat on. Rep day one, good, man. man. Peralta. I probably gave you that, man. Yeah, and and well, yeah, you handed it to me, man, but I heard it. You know what I'm saying? I think I heard it. <laughs> I think I heard it, man. Let me tell you something, though. The Peralta got the best coin. The Peralta, in my opinion, the Peralta got the best coin out of all them coins. Everybody else, y'all try to make, y'all try to make charge books, vessels, you know, y'all doing all that. You can open it up, something inside it. Y'all got the coins that keep spinning, like the spinning rims and all that. The Peralta kept it simple. This Mayan coin is the best coin. Somebody show me a better coin. I challenge you. It's the hey, best coin. and I'm gonna tell you, coin- and I'm, I'm gonna tell you guys something like, like on that coin that Dumbo just pulled up, man. The letters are raised on that thing. That thing is fire, man. Like, like, like I know it's one we had, we made, and it wasn't raised, but that thing, that's the one that's raised right there, man. That shit is cold blooded, man. Yeah, I'm with you. It's on crazy because I was. I was gonna say even an unraised coin, you know, yeah, yeah, fire. Yeah. yeah. Then the hey, gold for the one, listeners. and it's a couple versions of that thing out there, man. You guys better yeah. check it out, boy. There's a couple versions of that. The thing. small coin is fire, yeah. too. You know what yeah, I mean? Man. To be transparent to the listeners, every couple minutes, man, I'm muting my mic because I'm still choking. I just want y'all, <laughs> I just want y'all to know that for sure. Man, like, man, I want y'all hey, let to us know, know man, we got to take dedication. a pause, man. You know what I'm saying? I want you, you know, <laughs> well, we fall out over there. That, that that's, that, that's that dedication, man. And I, I got a message to all our guests because, you know, we are back doing episodes, but uh, we are, I got some guests who hit us up. We got guests who hit us up like, hey, what's up? Like when, you know, when, when? And I hope all the guests listen to the episodes because if you do, you know, it's like struggle bus. Like, like we trying our best right now, right? But uh, to the guests that listen to the episodes or that's listening to this episode, we got a guest list. It's long. We got a bunch of people we're going to get on here and talk to, but I just want to make sure we figure it out. Like we work out the kinks. I need a way to be able to record when I'm in the area that I live in and I need a, be, a, a way to be able to record when I'm in a barrack. So that's kind of, and it needs to be at least close to the same quality. Probably not the video, but the audio for sure. You know what I mean? So last week we recorded, I didn't have everything. I didn't have my laptop. It was crazy. This week, I think it's going to be a whole lot better and y'all should get like a normal sounding episode. We still got video coming. I'm still in the middle of editing another video. It just, it just takes a while, man. I ain't expect that RA duty to be so damn like, long, man. <laughs> yeah, bro. I'm on, I'm on watch from... 17 to 23, and you pretty much roving around the barracks. You know what I'm saying? And then if you at the desk, you're checking people uh, IDs and you're checking their key cards. But it's from 17 to 23, man. I thought it was 17 to 22, you know, but at 22, you're just making sure that all the guests are gone. But it's like a 20 minute, it's a 20 minute round. So the moment you finish your round, you got a couple minutes to get ready to start your next round. So it's really like a constant you know, duty if you're doing it right. Yeah. And they got, cam- and, and I did every round right. They got cameras. I don't know. I'm thinking they might look in, you know, yeah. so like, you know, I got that integrity. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like man. I did every round the right way and everything like that. Mm. That emergency exit door though, man. Like I, I can't lie, man. I got to close it every round. Like it, somebody wedged the cone between the emergency exit door. Mm. Every round, I took the cone out. Every single round, that means somebody put that cone right back again every single time. Mm. And I had a cool little moment, man. I, I checked this dude ID and his uh his key card, and then I wound up getting in the elevator with him. And he was like, "Hey, your voice and your face is familiar." He was like, "You be on TikTok, you know?" And be on TikTok is a funny is a funny yeah. like way of like saying things like, like 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 you know what I'm saying. And I'm like, "Yeah, yeah, I do. Yeah, I'm on TikTok. Yeah, I got some videos on there." You got you do like the podcast, right? He was like with that other guy. Now, he, say that. <laughs> he didn't say that, but he, he, I was like, "Yeah, I do." He's like, "Man, I listen. We I listen to y'all all the time." And this was a, I'm in a barracks, so this was his junior seller. I thought that was pretty cool. Man. Yeah, most definitely, man. You know? Um, I'm the same way, man. I got hit up too, man, uh, on the ship. But at my guy, I got it didn't like come out of the blue like that. Is the fact that I I kind of introduced it a little bit because I was I started uh-huh. off by saying a 
Because this kid was talking about how he did now, like he want to be his own man and he wants to, you know, not take orders and how, you know, people let let their, um, them being in charge go to their head. So that type of stuff he was talking about. And I said, yeah, man, I, said, I sometimes talk about things like this on my podcast. The time I said that, he said, oh, you got to buy it. He said, I, I, I knew I freaking, you know, uh, recognize you. And then he put it up on his phone and shit, man. I was, that, that moments like that, though, man, make you feel like, okay, man, like, let's, let's keep this, let's keep this thing going, man. Keep this thing going. They don't feel weird. Well, a little bit because that's not what we used to, but I'm not used to nothing like that. But so a, maybe yeah. a little bit weird, but at the same time, we got right into talking though. It didn't like we was just talking about that for a minute. We got right into talking about uh, what he had going on because I don't let him get away with that stuff, man. I don't let him get away yeah. with like, I'm, I'm finna, you know, get out and this. Oh, so what you doing then? Like that's the time we, that's what we got to. So when you get out, what's your, what's your plan? You know what I mean? Which again, Zero plan. Well, let's dig into that. Huh? Yeah, yeah. Let's dig. Let's dig okay. into that. So his reason. What was his reason? So his reason for getting out, man. And he and no shit, bro. He went straight to it. You know, these kids got no filter these days, right? So he went straight mm-hmm. to it, man. And he was like, "Hey," he said, "Chiefs." He said, "These these chiefs let the power go to their head." You know, when they when they when they telling you what to do, blah blah. blah. He said he didn't want to like deal with that. He want to get out and. And, and and do this and do that and and I and my rebuttal to that man I said you gonna have somebody in charge everywhere you go you know what I mean like everywhere anything you do somebody's gonna be telling you what to do unless you got your own business your own thing or whatever some if you get a job out there you're gonna be a manager but they're not gonna act yeah. like like the chief or like the first class or something like this I, I said how you know <laughs> you know what I mean how you know how they're gonna act right. Mm-hmm. So it's a little bit different because, you know, the, the structure of the Navy. So, yeah, I understand that part of it. Um, but you don't really know. And then I start getting into the details of, like, what are you going to do, you know, when you get out? So he he had a little bit of a plan, like, go to school and all this stuff. And I, and then I'm, I'm asking him, I said, hey, that ain't no cakewalk either, though, man. You know, right. even waking up every morning, going to school, everybody thinking about, like, you ask some of these people who got out and went to school and think, you know, that's stuff for cakewalk either because you got to do a certain amount of classes just to qualify to, to, to uh, I guess, get the money or whatever you get for uh, the 9-11, or post 9-11 or whatever. So whatever the case may be, you still got to put in some work, right? And and then depending on where you stand, is that money enough to, for you to survive on? So you might still have to get a job, you know? So um, so we got into all that stuff, man. And, 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 and it, the crazy part about it is I didn't necessarily like deter him what he wanted to do, but at the same time, I can see I had him thinking though. You know what I mean? I had him yeah. thinking about, okay, like, is this a good idea? And, and then, then he, at the end, he was like, okay, he said, I understand what you're saying, you know, senior, you know, uh, but he said, well, I'm probably getting out, but I understand what you're saying, where you're right. coming from. But and that's, and that's all I like, kid listening, and I got his attention. That's all I can ask for, you know? Hey, so. I, I, I want to dig into that for a second, though. Like, the let the power get to your head thing. Like, I, I'm trying to figure out what that mean, man. Yeah. Like, you know, like, when you watch, like, superhero movies, for instance, right? <laughs> and the villain let the power get to their head. You know, they, they they take the serum or whatever. Then they become, like, this big blown up villain. And then they try to, like, take over the world or whatever, right? And that's, like, letting the power get to your head, right? It's, like, this, this like, un, like, infinite like amount of power that like the villain has or whatever like that right but for in like in the navy like how much is it that a chief could do with like whatever power it is that they have and, and this is a question for not yeah. just you but this is a question mm-hmm. for the junior sellers too because I I, I I i need an example because i'm on the other side of the i'm on the other side of the fence right now um of it because i am a chief and um i don't know like i i feel like as far as power, when we use that word, I feel like it's limitations to that. Like, it's like everything I'm doing is in accordance with some black and white, you know, instruction. I can't do anything outside of, like, I operate in the confines of the, the POD, which on my ship, like we said, is, is a green sheet. You know what I mean? I operate in the confines of the uniform instruction. I operate in the confines of the leave and liberty instruction. Like, I'm operating in the confines of a bunch of instructions. Like, what type of power you know, am I really having? Like, I think this is like middle management, in my opinion. Yeah. 
I agree with you totally, man. And, and when I say when the power um, going to your head, he kind of gave me a little bit of an example, right? Mm-hmm. Um, and the example he gave me was like not necessarily like to me power going to your head. It's to me, it's, it felt like the chief trying to get some shit done, right? But we're in a questioning, mm-hmm. we're in a questioning Navy though, right? So yeah. if he's asking the chief why he has to do something and the chief come out at the end of trying to explain it to him, the <laughs> chief end up saying some shit like, because I'm the chief, <laughs> go get it done. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I think they take, he taking that or she or whoever takes that as, oh, he got all the power, he making me do this, you know, blah, blah, blah. I think that's where the conversation was kind of going. Now, he didn't exact say those words, but that's kind of how what I read out of what he what he was saying um, about the, the power. Yeah. It's another thing. I, I talk to sellers uh, a, a lot, like a lot of us. I talk to a lot of us. I think another word that I think people kind of get confused or term or whatever is micromanagement, man. I don't think, like, I think when mm. people say that, like, I think they be like wrong sometimes. Like when they say, hey, I don't, I don't like to be micromanaged. I'm like, so, you know, how were you being micromanaged? And some of the stories, it, it's not like micromanagement. Yeah. You, you know what I mean? Like, oh. you know, so I hear that a lot, man. Bro, I'm 100% on the micromanaging thing, man. Like, I tell you this, man, like, <clears throat> my thing is on micromanagement. And, and, and I only stand down a little bit on it, man, when they get brought to my attention or whatever. But I don't think it's micromanaging. Well, I come if I come around while you guys doing work, <laughs> I'm yeah. not trying to micromanage. I'm trying. I'm talking. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I might even be talking about the job you guys doing. I may talking be talking about what you guys eat for lunch. <laughs> you know what I mean? I might be talking about anything, making conversation, blah blah. blah. But some people take it by me coming around. I'm micromanaging what they doing, right? But a lot of a lot of times, man, it could be training what I'm doing, right? We'll never yeah. look at it as training. We look at it as like, why are you here, senior? <laughs> like, what, why, why, why are you standing around? Why are you doing this? Uh, that type of thing. They and they, they look at that as micromanagement, but I look at it as freaking. I'm trying to I'm trying to <laughs> help train, you know, all the type of shit I'm trying to do while I'm there, man. But that's I think that goes back to me, man, it's tribal knowledge, man. People always say if somebody come around, they looking over your shoulder, they doing this, they micromanagement. I mean, when they really don't know the, the definition of micromanagement, man. Yeah. Like I look at it like we are reflections of each other. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like I'm a reflection of y'all, y'all a reflection of me. Uh, and that's the reason I'm so transparent when I'm talking to my people. Like I pretty much tell them everything. You know what I mean? And now when we having a conversation, I'm asking a whole bunch of questions because I just want to know everything. So if somebody asks me, I can explain it. I don't have to pull you out of wherever you, you're working at or whatever so you could explain it and stuff like that. And I, I, and I think people, the, like, I don't want to say the lower you get or whatever, but when you get to like the people that's actually doing the work, I think sometimes they don't know how in-depth the conversations with the CEOs and the department heads be when they ask questions. Like the CEOs and the department heads, when they asking you questions, they're asking questions. And it's like they trying to understand that you really know what's going on on a deck place. They not asking you no broad stroke. I've been asked too many like, you know, compound questions to ever not have enough, you know, ammo when I go talk to my department head or my CEO where it's like, oh shit, wait, let me go ask. EM2. No, I need to know everything because they ask. You know, I've been like, I've been stumped already. You know what I'm saying? That I ain't try to get stumped no more. You know what I mean? That's why whenever you go up in a chain of command, you realize, damn, I never, when, when you get asked like a certain question, you're like, damn, I would have never thought of that. Yeah. Because it's like that person is prepared for that next person that's going to ask mad questions. Yeah. And even if it's one question, it's like super, you know, like back in the day, like your seller get hurt. You know what I'm saying? You like a second class. You like, oh, such and such hurt. All you really care about is like they went to the hospital or whatever, right? You like, oh, shit, they went to the hospital. Then you call your chief, you know, or you call your first class. Your first class was like, well, where, where are they car at? Is they car still on base? You know what I'm saying? Is What, what about the wife? Uh, is the family plan? You're like, oh, shit, I ain't even think about that. But it's like common sense type stuff. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, bro. 
I see you smiling over <laughs> no, there. No, I'm smiling because you hit it right <laughs> on the head, bro. Like, no shit, man. Like, years of years of experience, though, that me and Dumbo didn't put in, man, about these questions and what stuff we get asked, man. Like, if somebody hit me up with anything, man, I automatically probably got like five questions, for six questions, like off the rip. And you write all those little details. And it came from experience of us having to get stumped, <laughs> you know what I mean, before. Yeah. And we try not to let that happen again, man. But you write all those little questions that we don't think about. And I still sometimes, like, damn, I missed that. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, damn, yeah, I ain't yeah, think yeah. of that. Like, still, when you like, go to I CMC, I, right? When, <laughs> when you tell yeah. CMC something, CMC got that question. Well, how they gonna, you know, how they gonna get back home? You know? Yeah. Do they have meals? And like CMC be like, they got yeah. meals in their house, like they got food. Like, you know, I'm gonna get yeah. back to you on that. I'm gonna get back to you on that. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Yeah, I'm gonna find out. Let me. <laughs> Oh, you know, shit. and I try my best to not, you know, I don't want to do multiple trips and all that. So yeah. I do want to, like, we talked last week about how everybody kind of misinterpreted that uh, nav ad. And, and I think the big reason was because people had TIR and TIS confused, you know, so time, it, it was TIS, but everybody was reading it like it was time and rate. Now, one of the things that did come out is it's 30 months no matter what. Yeah. Yeah, that was, that was the, that was the, for me though, that was the only thing that I think did not really get answered in the nav admin, right? Like, and it may have been answered, but I just couldn't, it just didn't sit right with me because I was like, that can't be right. <laughs> I mean, that can't be the situation. You know what I mean? That's what I was thinking in, in my, in my head. Um, but yes, it is 30 months regardless if you are E1, E2, E3, before you become a petty officer, E4. You will be doing 30 months. That's wild, bro. And that's time in service, not time and rate, time in service automatically. 30 months. Yeah. So, that- so if you're if if an E1 come at the same time as like somebody was an E3 from whatever got them to be E3, y'all both doing 30 months. We pay the offload at the same time. <laughs> yeah. That's crazy. That's crazy. That's crazy. I mean, that's 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 crazy. But um I was thinking about it, man. At at a, at, a, at one point, I was like, "What are we doing?" You know what I mean with this? Nah, you hear people talking about it on around the you know around the office and stuff. Um, man, it's it's, it's crazy to, to think of it like that, man. But these sailors, man, they they coming up fast, bro. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Hey, you got four year freaking four year first classes. You know what I mean? Things like yeah. that, maybe. And I'm not saying that's where they're going with this or not, you know what I mean? But some people can be great test takers too and 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 may not even know their job. You know what I mean? It's more when you become yeah. a first class, man, leadership is like leadership is 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 huge, man. And I'm not taking nothing away from anybody who made it in four years, made it in three years, made it in five years. But what I do know is, man, sometimes leadership comes from experience too. Right? A lot of doing times, especially in the Navy. In the Navy, it comes from that's kind of what we just was talking yeah. about. Yeah. It comes from experience, man. It comes from doing things, coming from seeing things, man. Like, shit, four years in the Navy, man. You 22 years old, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. What have you seen in the Navy at 22? You know? I guess it wouldn't be any incentive to be, uh, well, I guess you get paid a little bit more money if you're E3, huh? Yeah, that's the only incentive to live. So it, it, it really is not a, I mean, that could be a selling point for the recruiters too. I mean, it don't really matter no more. But you want E2, 30 months, you'll be a E4. <laughs> you know I mean? That's how you got to sell much, it again. How much more money do an E three get paid? I w- say we should have done our research, man. Should have looked it like, up. Like, maybe we could. Maybe we could look it up real quick, man. I could try to find this Navy Navy pay scale, pay chart, twenty twenty three. Like, how much more money do an E three get paid than an E one? My internet kind of slow too. Twenty twenty three Navy pay chart, all pay grades. I don't know. This could be wrong. Oh, well, let me see. What oh, yeah. Okay. You got yeah, it. I, see, I got it over here, too, man. Let me about see. 300, 200, 300. Oh, shit. <laughs> about 300. Bro, that's a right? nice little jump. Like 300? I take the 300. <laughs> shit. No, uh, E1. Like? Hold up. Shit, E1 with less than four months in is 1773. 73, yeah. The E3 at yeah. 2259. Shit, that's yeah, 800. Yeah, but I ain't looking at less than four. 
Not less. I you can't look at less than four months, though. <laughs> like kind of even the scale. You know what I mean? So well, greater four like, months is other. what? Nine, it's still damn near seven hundred. Hold up. It's nineteen. No, nah, about five hundred. Nah, that's like three hundred. Nineteen seventy to twenty-two. Oh yeah, you're right. I'm looking at it wrong. <laughs> yeah, like three hundred. Yeah, I yeah. mean, we could now if we go over two, which which we would be going to if we go over two. So over two, it's like nineteen eighteen. Yeah. Right, so 1918. Oh, no, I got, I'm doing the math backwards. So 2,402, 2,402, that's E3 over 2, uh, minus 1918. That's 484. That's like 500. Yeah. So you're getting like 500 more, 500 more dollars um, than uh, E1 if you're E3. And then you you be getting that for 30 months. <laughs> yeah, you know, well, well, you, you know, your money will be up first is like a couple hundred, then it's uh, about three hundred, then it's about five hundred. Um, you know, through the years or whatever like that. Yeah, so that ain't bad. You making more money for a little bit of time, but I, I just don't know how somebody would feel knowing that they just can't be a petty officer for thirty for thirty months. Yeah, 30 we months. should get look. We should look. We should talk about that, man. Somebody should hit us up and. and when y'all found out like that was the real deal, what it was y'all first thoughts, man? What were the first thoughts came to your mind as a as a E three? Because I remember when I read it, I was like, somebody brought it up to me, like when when do uh if I came in as an E three, like I did, say, like I did, I came in as an E three, do I got to wait thirty months? And I was like, nah, that can't be the case. <laughs> that was I was telling mm-hmm. them, I said, nah, it can't be, yeah. can't be the case. Probably twelve months or whatever. I was thinking like, you know, I'm probably twelve months or whatever, but it can't be the case. And then when that little thing came out, I was like, "Oh shit, yes." I wouldn't have watched. I wouldn't have watched it if I came in. I mean, I I wouldn't have uh, liked it if I came in as an E three. I would have loved it if I came in as an E one. Yeah, you know yeah, what yeah. I'm saying? If yeah. you know, if I was, yeah. you know, I wouldn't. Have, you know, that's just what it is. it's funny. I was, I was just thinking in my head, like somebody. I was talking to somebody. They told me that they listened to the pod and they told me that they was learning from it. I'm like what the, what the hell are you learning from us, man? Learn some bullshit, probably. Know how to try to <laughs> quit trying to figure out how to maneuver on us, man. <laughs> trying to figure out how to learn maneuver in the us, navy man. off us, man. I <laughs> say, yeah, I learned it from from the pod already. <laughs> hey, so I got I got a story, man. I think it's a profound story. I told my mom she didn't respond. I react to this story at all. It's like she ain't care about it. You know what I mean? Yeah. But I think it's a profound story. I'm gonna try to make this a short story. I'm in a, you know, my laptop, it got, it broke or whatever. Um, but so I'm in a mall getting my new, getting the fix, the fix. They fixed it. Yeah. So I stopped to go get some food. I'm sitting there eating my food and I'm outside of a Froyo store. Right. And I guess my mom completely detached because she ain't know what Froyo. She, 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 she was like, well, you know, she was like, I don't know what Froyo is or whatever. You know what Froyo is? You don't know either. All right. So before you detach, I'm going to explain it, right? It's frozen <laughs> yogurt, right? Frozen okay, yogurt, okay. right? So when you go to like the frozen yogurt bar and you like get the, you know, like sweet frog or whatever. You add all the toppings to okay, your, you know, okay. your Froyo, right? So I'm outside of Froyo, Dre. Now remember, the Froyo store, you pretty much do everything yourself. You know what I'm saying? You pretty much do everything on your own. You grab your cup, you grab your Froyo, you grab your uh, toppings, you do everything on your own. So it's a dude that's working at this Froyo spot. He working at the register. Mm-hmm. The register is by the window, so you can see him. He chilling, and he on his phone, right? The whole time he at, he working, he on his phone. I'm out there for like 20, 25 minutes. And I'm thinking in my head, I'm like, damn. First, I'm like, damn, young sellers, they really can't be on their phone because you can't use your phone. Like, actually use your phone. Like, you don't get service. You can't use it on a ship. You could go other, like some place, some designated area, or you could play games, but you can't text and be on, on social media. So, you know, but then I'm thinking like about like my generation, you know, back when I would was like his age. I don't know. He's probably 18, 19 or whatever. Like you couldn't use your phone at work. Like you couldn't work and be on the phone or whatever like that. Right. And I'm like, damn, like, you know, shit is changing. Like this man is on his phone for a whole 20 minute span while he at work. Like mm-hmm. he really getting paid to be on his phone, right? And I'm like, damn, you know? So then he, now mind you, he had a Froyo spot. So then he, he does this, right? And I'm going I'm to explain it for the audience, but I'm going to show you. He does this, mm. his, you know, on his joint or whatever with his nose. So he pretty much, for the audience that's listening, he pretty much, t- and that's probably everybody because we ain't put a video out a couple couple weeks, right? Probably like above. But uh, 
So he put his 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 uh his hand up to his nose and he like wiped his nose, maybe scratching it. I do that every now and then too when we pot, but he may be scratching it or something like that. Me personally, I worked at fast food restaurants. I worked, shout out to Wendy, shout out to Popeyes, you know what I'm saying? I worked at those spots. I was always washing my hands and putting gloves on all the time, right? You always washing your hands and putting gloves on, right? And me and my wife, we funny about when we see people do that. We normally leave the spot, bro. Yeah. Like soon as we see people do that, we out. Yeah. So he does that. Somebody comes in as he's doing that. It's a lady and her daughter, right? So as they shopping, he do it again. So now remember, they doing everything. They get their bowls, they get their ice cream, they get everything. They put they, and then at the end, you put it on a scale, right? And you, you weigh it out and you pay. Man, they put their ice cream on the scale, weighed it out, paid. He rung them up. That was what he did. And they put money in the tip cup, bro. The lady, the lady put money in the tip cup. And for, to me, you know, I don't even know if I really want to get into why I think that was such a profound, like, <laughs> and telling moment for, like, the world and, like, where we are and where we going. But I just thought that whole 20 minutes as I was watching this dude was such a profound moment, man. And I think about, like, when he gets to the real workforce, right? It, it, coming off of an experience, right? And I might sound like the old man here on the porch. But when he go to the workforce, he coming off an experience where he's getting tips, but doing less than like nothing. Like yeah. all he did was ring her up. And when I say less than nothing, the reason why I'm saying that because of the hand, like your hands, that's foul, man. Like that was, that was foul to me. Like, like wash your hands, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And that's why I say less than nothing. Like he did ring her up, but then you getting a tip for that. Like, I just don't know how privileged, uh, like how much you think you deserve when you get out in like the normal workforce, man. And I, I think that's real bad, man. Yeah, man. But it's, 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 it's so true though, man. Like, man, like <laughs> be honest with you, man. Like you at home, man, like even in my house right now, man, like shit, I'd be giving tips for freaking clean up the backyard. I'd be giving money for a freaking <laughs> the things I expect your ass part of your chores. You know what I mean? Right. We're like giving you like a he go take this ten, take this fifteen for things that you should be doing anyway. So I can see what you. I know exactly <laughs> what you mean. Man. I know yeah. exactly what you mean. Go out there, wash you my out car. Tips at home. At home, yeah. I wash my car. I paying the kids. Shit, twenty five dollars, thirty dollars. Wash my car. <laughs> Shit. You know you gotta pay T day. I heard you gotta pay T day this man. They ain't chopping. Yeah, unless they get they ain't paid. doing nothing <laughs> on their phone twenty four seven, just like they, that boy would. 24 itself. That's crazy. Walking man. down the and, stairs in the house, head down, been in fell and fell over something there, man. On the phone. Yeah, man. And I'm thinking about, I'm thinking about tipflation too, all that. Like yeah. all of that. Like, yeah. you know, I'm, I was shopping at somewhere, uh, the uh the smoothie. I get smoothies. I got a smoothie this morning. And and there it's harder to not pay a tip. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, like the way the register work, like. It's like the only way you could clear the screen is if you just hurry up and pay a tip. Like it's, it's they got the numbers in the bottom and shit. Like, yeah. Yeah, they, they do the calculation for you now. Yeah. You don't even got to do the calculation yeah, no more. Like, you want to go 20, 25, 18. It's crazy, yeah. Man. When they give, give, me what you, give me what you want shit out the window now, man. You going to give me yeah, <laughs> 15, nah. 20, What's 25%. Up, this, there you go. Hit that, hit that, and that, it go up a couple months. It'd be yeah, 20, man. 22, 25. Yeah. So, hey, I got a question. What's your thoughts on day after duty? Oh, man. So, day after duty, you know you know what I'm talking about already? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So... Well, what is it? Let's explain it for... What like, a, the day let's after explain duty, it so, for like so you, a civilian. Let's explain it yeah, for yeah. a civilian. So, the day after duty is, is for example, you got... Uh, every day after duty is what it is. So, you got duty one day, you stay 24 hours, right? 24 hours, you got duty. The next day, you're going to do a turnover. Right, it can be different times depending on the the ship or where you're stationed at. But it can be at zero eight. It can be I seen one day was doing it at noon turnover time, right? So it's a turnover from from duty. So you could be doing depending on your job and what you're doing, you got to do a turnover. So a lot of times, well, I have heard of this, <laughs> never happened to me or not, but I heard that sometimes people can be off that next day. Like yeah. the duty that you can have duty for that 24 hours. And then the next day you can have that give you off. Right. Yeah. Now that has been brought to my attention on the ship, but it didn't happen. We couldn't make it happen. We got things that we have to get done. Um, but 
if it was in a in a situation that I could make that happen, man, I think it'd be a great idea. Um, cause some people do put that work in. You know what I mean? On their duty day. Sometimes on your duty day, that's where you get a lot of shit done and completed at, right? And then cause you're yeah. there for 24 hours, you plan for that. I know people, you know, shit, time everybody leave the ship on their duty day. That's when they get, they go to work. You know what I mean? <laughs> Getting things done, yeah. knocked out or whatever. So, um, that's kind of where the, the next day, uh, thing come out when people say, Hey, what about the day after duty? You know what I mean? It comes from them having duty 24 hours prior. Is that what we getting at? Are we talking about? Well, I mean, I'm, I'm, t- I'm kind of talking about it. Cause like, <laughs> what, like I, I had a divo before I got there. He told the division that it was a chance that they could get day after duty. But also if he was gone, all this stuff was subject to change. You know what I mean? <laughs> but like all my junior sellers, they come up to me like, Hey, we, like such and such told us we're going to get day after duty. What's going on with it? You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, this day after duty stuff. And I'm like, and I'm telling him like, yo, it sounds good. Like I don't like Liberty, like I'm good with Liberty or whatever like that. But I'm, I'm also good with us getting things done. You know what I mean? Like, yo, we could do Liberty, but like, all right, maybe we could do day after duty if we had a duty section work list, you know? Because if we had a, because that's when you kind of even, uh, you, you, you kind of even the scales there, right? Because the way you talk about the one person that's humping on duty it's also that person that can't wait till everybody leave so they could just chill. You know what I mean? Like, yo, as soon as everybody get out of here, I'm going to sleep. I'm playing the video game. I'm chilling, yo. You know, the people that's like pushing people out. Like, damn, chief, you still here? Like, you know, yeah. I know you know it's people like that too, right? So it's like, so yeah. if we did a duty section work list and you did work throughout your duty day, which I still think is kind of crazy because you got to work all day too. You know what I mean? So you did, but you you do some work throughout your duty day. So that means you didn't get rest and you need to recover and all that. Yeah, maybe we could go do day after duty, man. Yeah, you know um, I, mean? I wanna add, I wanna add to this, man. Like, like just the fact that you, you entertaining this, I'm letting you guys, the world know this is a carrier thing. You know what I mean? It yeah. got brung to me up on me on a DDG, and I was like, hell no. Out the window, right? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but on a carrier, though, it is entertained. You can kind of entertain it a little bit. You got, you got enough, you got sailors that's there. You got enough people that it's possible. So it can be entertained. But I just want the world to know that's the only way this is being entertained. Because yeah. probably because it's on a carrier and it's, it's a different, if a, it's a, no shit, a different atmosphere, man. <laughs> yeah, bro. I'm learning a lot. Yeah. I'm learning a lot about carriers, man. You know, we did our clip, and on our clip, when uh, on TikTok, people were like, "Oh man, they must have never did carrier." Boom, boom, boom. I'm on a carrier now. I'm learning a lot about carriers, man. Like, like, yeah. like it's <laughs> it's a whole lot different, man. You know what I mean? Like the <laughs> oh, you know the oh, the same. I'm having this conversation. He like, yeah. I told him like that. You know, they was getting off at twelve. He was like, I told him like y'all might be getting off at fourteen soon. You know, he's like, faces drop. <laughs> <laughs> About 14, oh my bro. God. Another thing. And, I, and and it's a question for you because you're a DC. You're a DC person. So, IT. IT don't stand duty. I mean, IT don't stand watch in the duty section. Yeah. IT is their own entity. Yeah. Right? You know, it's people that don't want to do IT. That's they crazy, would rather right? be in the duty section, bro. And I'm like, yo, this is like EDOs don't stand watch. Yeah. I'm like, yo, this is new. Yeah. Like I remember being on a Peralta. We we got the zero seven to seventeen, man. You know what I mean? like, <laughs> <laughs> the whole, the whole daylight. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I got the zero seven to seventeen. I'ma have a little child relief, but I'ma be in CCS yeah. doing tags and doing everything in the space. EDOs ain't on a watch bill, bro. So that's the yeah. first thing. But then you got IT. Like, I don't like so let's talk about that. IT versus regular uh duty section, right? Like, which one would you choose? Oh, I'm choosing IET all day. And, and let me take, I don't know how you guys do it um on your on the, on your carrier, but even the training of IET is different on the on the carrier, bro. We only and I don't know how you do it. We only train the IET, right? So for yeah. that duty section training, we got the yeah. IET together and training, which ain't nothing but about what twenty some, thirty some people. Instead of training the whole, you probably can't even train a whole damn duty section on the correct carrier. That's like gang of motherfuckers. 
But how do you guys train on duty session? Y'all train the whole um the whole duty session? Yo, I don't know. I, I ain't been there long enough. I can tell you this though. Um it's just funny, but I ain't even try. Like I ain't even try to crack. I ain't even try to crack on this uh, on this shit. But that it's just kind of funny. So you know, I got there. When I got there, we was in Palm. So we had like we had like two weeks left of Palm. So we did two weeks of Palm, and then the uh, like the week before this last week that just passed was the first week where everybody back. Right, everybody came back on a Friday. Yeah. So then last week it was a it was an inspection. It was an assessment, an IET, right? So last week it was an IET assessment, right? So remember I said we had our last palm was two weeks before. Like our last palm ended, and then it was a week between the palm and the assessment. Yeah. You know what they did it, you know what we did in that week between palm and the assessment? It was an IET assessment. You know what we did the week between palm and the IET assessment? Right. We ran five Joes a day. <laughs> <laughs> hey, bro, like we got off palm, bro. And we like, all right, look, this is what we about to do. We going to run five drills a day because we get in the sets next week. That, that was it. That was the only practice. <laughs> that was the only practice, bro. You know what I'm saying? I mean, unless they practice before I got there or whatever like that. I only yeah. was there now. I think it's been like my fourth week. So palm, <laughs> five drills a day. <laughs> Each duty section, and then we get it inspected next week. You know what I'm saying? But so um, hold on, hold on. So, so so while you are on Palm, that duty section is drilling five drills a day. No, nah, it's nah, after. they do a regular. <laughs> <I got you. laughs> like it's just one week, Monday through Friday. We gonna do five drills a day. Hey, but they, hey. hey, we got we got inspection next week. So this week we gonna drill every IT five times a day. Like, and that's 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 our prep for the for, for the that's drill. It? You know, I remember being on the small boy and we doing months of like training to get ready for like yeah. this inspection. Nah, we just gonna squeeze five drills a day and it is one week and we yeah. gonna be ready for next week. You know what I'm saying? But um, but um, so I don't know yet about training, but I do know that we just talked about doing. A departmental training, uh, either before. So it's like the last duty section musters at like 1900. So we just discussed adding in like an engineering departmental training, either right before or right after that last duty section muster. So, I, and I'm sure IET not going to be there. It's just going to be like our, de- yeah, yeah. like the, the department um, engineers. That's good stuff. So I do man, know that. But that, that's how it is on, on no shit, man. And like, I'm not throwing no salt on the carrier lifestyle, man, because I'm going to carrier probably too. But I also want to say, man, that's that's all it's that's all it's about, man. Like it's no worries about any freaking thing, man. Like it's yeah. no, it's like like we have PB fatigue. It's like okay, we got this coming up, you know, in five months. What's the plan or whatever? Six months. What's the plan? Then we start talking about how we gonna drill, how we gonna what what it is, uh, crawl, walk, run. You know what I mean? We talk about stuff yeah. like how we gonna get going. Shit. Yeah. Carry it, man. <laughs> Let us get these drills out, bro. Yo, this Let's week, run these drills. <laughs> this week. Shit, they can show up the deal. We run the drills to be done, man. <laughs> hey, but the crazy thing is, you say it's no worries, right? But people be worried. Like, it's people that don't want to be in IET, bro. Yo, I would. Yeah. It's some sellers on small boys. Hey, hey, hey for the small boy sellers, like, I'm up, like, since I'm on a carrier now, I'm going to let y'all know you know, what's going on. So when y'all make y'all decisions, y'all know what y'all doing too, right? Yeah. Yo, you know, if you want a small, and for the citizens and carrier, I want y'all to know what the difference is too. If you want a carrier, if you want a small boy carrier, uh, shit, I'm tripping. If you want a small boy, you stand in duty and you part of the IT. If you want a carrier, it's separate. You know what I mean? And the yeah. people on the carrier, they don't like, they don't like that IT stuff. And, and I don't want to say, like, you no duty, no, I mean, no watches, no nothing, right? So if you don't have a drill or anything like that, you good. Yeah. So I don't understand yeah. that either, though. I don't understand, man, put me on IT. <laughs> but I'm going to tell you another thing, too, man, like, like the your qualifications, though. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. they don't even want to get called at IT. In, 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 in IET, man. It's just like, okay, let me go ahead and get my in rate wall. Let me go stand these little watches. Uh, I was talking to my son, man, and he was telling me, like, he just he just be in wherever he working at, ADP, wherever that's at. <laughs> he had on duty all day. You know what I mean? That's it. Oh, he on a carrier? Yeah, he on a carrier, yeah. He on a carrier? Yeah. Oh, so he, he working at ADP? 
Yeah. See now, and now carriers got carriers speak a whole different language too. Like, you know, so it's a whole different thing. Like ADP, all this stuff that I never even heard about. So now I got to learn about it. Like, it's a group called MSC that they handle all the diagrams. Mm-hmm. Like, I don't, I can't even. I don't even got my own diagram. Yeah, you know man. what I mean. You ain't got to look that shit up or nothing, man. And they print it out, have it in a book format for you and every damn thing, bro. Yeah, bro. But, you know, I want to, like, I want to be, you know, in my office, yeah. in my shop, just looking through diagrams. Like, that's what I want to do. I can't even do that. Like, yeah, man. Um, And then I'm on the East Coast, right? So on the East Coast, they call Deck It, Deck It. On the West Coast, they call it D-Set. You know, yeah. so now I'm back calling it decade again or whatever. It's just a whole bunch of different, yeah, you know, man. stuff like that. On the civilian side of the house, though, I'm seeing something saying that remote, the remote work era is ending. You know, so it's like, yo, get y'all ass back, get y'all asses back in that workforce and that job, man. Yeah. You know, I don't, I don't, I don't think it panned out the way, it seems like it would be a great thing. You know what I mean? Like remote work, but I don't think it panned out the way that you know, most businesses or whatever thought it was going to be. I think, I think, I honestly think people losing production. You know what yeah. I mean? I think they are too. I mean, like, I do think some certain jobs probably could still be done remotely and then be good to go. But man, some yeah. of that shit, man, it's, it's, some of it has to do, it can be shit, camaraderie. You know what I mean? Talking to somebody yeah. actually, you know what I mean? Seeing how they do work, seeing how they do business or whatever, man. But I knew that wasn't going to last long, man. Like, you just got certain jobs that you just cannot do that with, man. Like, if you were, like, building prints or some or, or codes or something, you got to come in and talk about that stuff. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> you can't just do it over a freaking phone or do it over, over you know, the, the internet. You got to come in and show me uh, what I'm looking at. You know what I mean? So, yeah. I, I can see that. Um, yeah, and we've seen enough of those. Uh, we've seen enough of those videos where people be in a Zoom meeting and they draws. You know what I'm saying? Like, like not really. Like, <laughs> you know up here, like, chilling. Yeah, you babysitting your kids, man. You know what I mean? Like, you, you know, you at home with your not babysitting. You at home with your kids, like doing shit that as you wouldn't be doing if you was at work. So they gotta pull people back in the offices. Yeah, man, man. And get it right, man. Yeah, I seen it. And then don't let like at my last job, like don't let like people have to come in. You know what I mean? Like at my last job, people was working in other uh, states, like like miles away. Like, you know what I mean? Like <laughs> somebody might have worked. I worked in D.C. Somebody might have worked in Wyoming. You know what I mean? Like and it's like, hey, we need everybody in for this uh, for this one meet, and we need everybody here. That person from, from Wyoming, they not happy. You know what I mean? Yeah. They ain't coming in with in. smiles on their face like. Hell, I got it. What the hell y'all need to get in? You know what I mean? Hey, one more, one last thing about a carry about the carrier, real quick is I love how I'm getting trained on there, man. I love it. You know what I mean? Like people, like they everything, like you know, I've never been on a carrier. People talking to me like everything new, like ain't nothing on no other ship. You know what I mean? They like, yo, you see these big, these big things that you just open. You know what I mean? They down here in Central, you just open, you can flip, you can see whatever space file. These are called DC plates. You know, that's what these are. These are DC plates. You know what I mean? And I'm just listening. Like, like, hey, thanks, you know. Like, you know, like, I got a couple of EL letters and stuff like that, you know. But, I, like, but listen, I honestly, like, honestly, I ain't even being sarcastic. I honestly like that. Because yeah. I, I, date, I dated dump. Our dad had dump. However we pronounce that word, right? I dumped that shit anyway. So, yeah. I appreciate people going all the way back down to parade rest and train. I wish training was more like that. You know what I mean? I remember I was sitting on, um, I was sitting on, um, or Epsi with a DC. He was a DC one at the time. One of your guys. He was a DC one at the time. He a DCC now. But I was sitting on Epsi with him when I first got to the ship. And I'm asking him questions, man. <laughs> he, he was sweating, man. You know what I mean? And this is my guy. I love him. Brayton, Brayton, man. Yeah, I know. Brayton, you know what? Yeah. I love Brayton, man. <laughs> But um, yo, brain was sweating. You know what I mean? Like I'm like, hey, so this, and it's like, y'all, I'm asking the questions really because I don't know. You know, and brain was like, hey, chief, man, I feel like you giving me a board. Like, <laughs> no, you know. What I mean? uh, see, and brain said, and, and, brain be like, man, I got by the by the bit of my teeth, man. I can't be trained no damn body. I barely got one. <laughs> brain, brain, like, yo, I'm a DC one. They gonna send an EMC under me, man, to talk about the electric plant. I know, man. Man. You know, that's probably exactly what he was thinking. 
Yeah, man, I'm asking questions like, oh, like, oh shit, this ain't ring bust. Ring, ring, what the fuck is ring bust, man? You know what I mean? <laughs> Uh, uh, that that was just, but so the way they training me on there, I do like I appreciate it. Like I like it. Like somebody was explaining to me about like parts, and I get get explained about the um the RPM, like the five five five. <laughs> I'm like oh shit, yo. like some of this stuff I know about, but come on, you know, IDLH, like what that mean and <laughs> yeah. all that. I'm like oh shit, let's go explain, explain, explain. You know, because the moment I start acting like I know some shit, people gonna start. Stop teaching me shit, then I'm gonna be stuck trying to figure stuff out. So I do appreciate that. But just like the carrier, here's another uh, aspect of when people make, you know, assumptions, right? Let me just say that. People from the South. <laughs> Why do people from the South think they the only people? And this ain't a Navy topic. Why do people from the South think they the only people with good food, man? Like why you say good, that, good food, right? Good food. Well, good food. Why yeah, man. That, because man? in this in the the thing about it is, man, like, it goes back to that Southern hospitality, man. And then also it goes back to, like, in the in the city areas, man, you got all these stores and shit, bro. You got all this, all these, like, you can go to here and, and pick something up real quick by, look, walk outside your door and go pick some stuff up. In the country, you got to go to the store that's 10 miles away, go pick everything up, bring that shit back to the crib. Season that stuff up, you, man. You, you season is like salt and pepper, man. You know what I'm saying? In the cities, man, salt and pepper, you just season, bro. You <laughs> we use the same thing, onion and we use the same thing like y'all, onion powder and garlic powder. We use that too. Well, <laughs> onion salt powder, and pepper, right? <laughs> onion yeah. powder. I know what y'all use it. Onion powder, garlic powder, and sometimes smoked paprika. Uh, I know what y'all use it, man. We all use the same thing. Uh, no front, hey, bro. I know what y'all we ain't use. We put that work in What's enough, it? man. Shit be coming out like. Yeah, bro. I mean, it's, it's a true. That's though. what y'all use it, right? Are you are you powder? We use a little bit more, powder. man. We get a little bit more, man. Tony, what Tony, what the uh, Tony Cratchers, uh, the, the the Cajun seasoning. Come on, man, and maybe some old base. Come on, man. Y'all ain't using nothing, no. Yeah, man. We using a lot more, man. A lot more, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You gotta go in there and check that out, man. That's how we do in the south. You guys know what it is, man. They can't they can't stand the can can of that cookie, man. We 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 do it real big, man. The real big. Well, I, I, I just don't like y'all know most of our grandmas came from the south too. Like, yeah, they came that's from the true. South. That's they true. migrated. That's they went up north. They they got the same grits recipe as y'all. Ah, <laughs> we got the same. It changed, got the same though, bro. You, know, you got to change your environment, bro. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I don't <laughs> think. I, I think that's probably what it is, man. I think the cooking changed because it was more available. You know what I'm saying? In the city, you can just walk out the side and get it. You know what I mean? Like like like. On the streets, probably. You got you cooking shit right there in front of you on the streets. You know what I mean? The South, it ain't all like that, man. You know what I'm saying? You got to be in that kitchen. Nah, in the South, y'all still eating rap snacks, man. That's what the problem <laughs> is, man. <laughs> That's what the problem is. <laughs> grandma's cooking is grandma's cooking, man. I, I just be watching people from the South. Y'all so proud of the cooking. Oh, man. yeah, man. Oh, yeah. We're proud, same, man. Like we don't, man. But I don't know if grandma thing, cooking man. is grandma cooking either, though. You know what I mean? I know some old grandmas out there that can't get down, man. You know what I'm saying? Hey, Shouts well, out to the grandmas, man. Disrespect to the grandmas, man. Shouts out to the grandmas, man. You know what I'm saying? Grandmas don't deserve that. Man, you know yeah, remember, that, man, some of them grandmas now, man, my age, man. You know what I'm saying? Well, these, well, yeah, well, these grandmas, these grandmas, you know, it's door dashing, it's whatever, you know, these grandmas. But, you know, the, the old ones, the South ain't, I, I, I'm here to say it, man. Up north, we want smoke with the south when it come to cooking. We want whatever y'all got. We want whatever y'all got, man. You know what I mean? I was on, mm. I was, I was, uh, Wilson, she was on, I was looking at her. She was on Facebook. She had a Chico stick, bro. And she like, yeah, people up north don't know nothing about these, you know? I'm like, y'all used to eat them too. You know, up north, they, that's a Chico stick, man. And that's what I mean about y'all people. Uh, hey, shout out to Wilson. Love you, Wilson. And, um prayers for you and your family right now. She got some stuff going on. But that's what I mean about people from the South, man. Y'all ain't think we had Chico sticks, man. Yeah, man. It was a surprise. I'm, I'm sure you probably probably saw them on TV or some shit, man. Yeah. <laughs> I used to eat Chico sticks <laughs> every day, dog. Like, there wasn't no novelty. You go right to the corner store. Did you guys man. call them Chico, Chico sticks? sticks? You had another name for them or something? They was Chico <laughs> sticks, man. It ain't like y'all got Raleigh's and we got checkers. Nah, these was Chico sticks. And checkers is better than Raleigh's. Hey, for the record, checkers is better than Raleigh's too. I don't know, but you got White Castle now too. You got to throw in that same little, little, 
We we White Castle is up north. Though. Yeah, yeah. I'm saying that all three, they, all three of them kind of the same to me. Yeah, Riley's White Castle. Yeah. I I give y'all Zaxby's. I give y'all Zaxby's. That's it. I give y'all Zaxby's, but we got Canes. I give y'all Zaxby's, but we got Canes. But Canes, shit, Canes is Mississippi too, shit. Canes is Mississippi, yeah. Shit. Shit, man, people, but you know, but that shit ain't expanded. Everything ain't expanded now, shit. People making money all over the world now, man. Yeah. I mean, Zaxby's, though, it's still hard to find yeah. a Zaxby's up north. Yeah, yeah. It's still hard to find a, a Zaxby's up north. The last time I had Zaxby's, it was a bad experience. Shit, my argument, man, be like, like, well, my wife argument anyway when they talk about Whataburger, man. She get to talk about Whataburger, yeah. boy. Okay, no, <laughs> nothing better than Whataburger. And they try to do, what's the, what's the place down here in Cali? In and out, in and out. Oh man, the argument with In and Out and Waterburger, boy. Good gracious. Which one you like more? Oh, I'm Waterburger all day. I yeah, think In and Out, man. To I me, In and Out, the burger's small. I mean, it's, it's all right. It's like a quick little snack, but it's like a thin little piece of yeah. meat, man. Nah, I like Waterburger, man. I think ready. Yeah, it, At B and B, man, it's, breakfast it's on the bun, the, bro. The, Woo, breakfast, good. Oh. <laughs> Gracious. What about Five Guys? What about Five Guys? I like Five Guys, man. Uh, it's too to me. I can't eat it though that much, man. It's too too greasy, to too wet. all that stuff, man. Yeah, <laughs> they I can't. give you the wet ass. You give me this wet ass burger. Yeah, you gotta drink man, the burger. Man. They got a good shake though. <laughs> shake pretty good. Yeah, them shakes, man. Them shakes about sixteen hundred calories. <laughs> <laughs> No they gotta doubt, give you bro. a straw. No. They gotta give you a straw about as wide as a cup. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you drinking bro. boba out that drink? Oh, That'll make sense. No. So, question, yeah. question, question. Because I know this Chinese, uh, this Chinese spy thing, right? Is that like where, I thought you had that in your notes about the the sellers giving the um, China? Oh yeah, it is in there. But before before we get there, right? Because I was reading the comments from that story that we will talk about. I think people were saying that. So real, real quick, matter of fact, I guess we need to just go to the story. Two U.S. Navy sailors arrested for allegedly spying for China. Right? Yeah. That's, that's crazy, right? Um, and I guess these sailors were uh, Chinese, maybe uh, um, uh, born in America, but Chinese are, yeah. um, are born in China. Oh, uh, so, yeah, they were U.S. citizens. One of them was a U.S. citizen that was born in China. And um, I don't know about the other one, but I know they were both, uh, they were Chinese or whatever. And they, it's, it's, it seems that they were um, giving China some information. You know any more about this story? Man, I'm going to tell you, man. So I read this story, man. And I'm going to be straight up, man. This shit like out of the movies, bro. They was even calling them handlers. Like they are handlers. Like what the hell is this, bro? Mm -hmm. This is like out of the freaking, um, out of the movies and out of the TV shows and shit, man, where they got, you know, they, they, they talk, they've been working with them for a while. You know what I'm saying? Like taking yeah. them places, doing things for them and for information, man, giving them money for information and things like that. Um, of course they, they was on different, you know, in different areas. One was in, in Port Wanimi, one was on the, on the Essex. You know, um, yeah. giving out information, you know, whereabouts and things like that. So, I mean, they up on charges right now. Uh, but it just, to me, this whole story, man, like, like it makes you think, though. You know, you could be talking to somebody one day, man. And like, we think about if I was on it, I was on a Navy vessel right now. Then one of the, my shipmates end up doing this, man. Like, man, I was just talking to this guy. A girl, yeah, like like, like ten minutes ago, and this was a freaking spy or, or whatever. It's like crazy to even think like that, man. Um, yeah, it's like you giving this dude Eastwise training, and you're like, yo, why are you asking me like yeah. no, the, that much about the weapon? Like, yeah. like, like, well, why are you asking that much? You know, yeah. What was you saying though? Yeah, but the one in the one in um the guy that was in the port one need me, and I'm trying to find the different the. Uh, yeah, man, he actually was like he had clearance and he was giving out that real info. Yeah. Um Yeah. Zao, the second yeah, guy. Yeah, second guy, control. man. I'm trying to think on, on stuff yeah. he was giving. I know like weaponry and things like that. He was giving out information about, you know, Okinawa and shit like that, man. So I was like, good gracious, man. That's like crazy with it. 
Yeah, it's a weapons, propulsion, desalination systems, all types of stuff. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? My man talk about the ROs, man. <laughs> <laughs> Hey man, that's how we make water. And then, man, if I'm getting, and look, and then this this is the thing though. This is the biggest thing, another thing for me. I think one of the guys, one of them got like a couple grand, maybe five thousand dollars. The other one got like fifteen grand, close to fifteen grand, man. My thing is, bro, if I'm giving out this information, you gotta pay your boy. It's gotta be a life changing event. Yeah. One million dollars. <laughs> like, like, I'm going down. Like, I'm going down for the boat, bro. <laughs> fifteen grand, bro. I, man, they ain't even buying me a car. I can't even buy a car with million. fifteen grand, bro. That fifteen grand ain't doing yeah. shit for me. Nothing. Yeah. So that make me think yeah. they just want to do it. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah, they just yeah, want to do it. Just yeah. they. That, that's yeah, what I'm there for. Cool. This is why I'm in the United States yep. to do this. Because they're not getting paid enough to, to to like make it worth a while, you know what I mean? Yeah. So just something they want to do is crazy, man. Yeah, why somebody say that they was giving up the uh, battle station secrets? But somebody, <laughs> somebody, somebody said that in the comments. The cop, yeah, yeah, they said they was giving up. <laughs> they said they was giving up the secrets, the battle stations, that man. Is too funny, bro. And, and, and with that said, though, is battle stations a secret? Like, I don't think so. I don't think it's a secret, man. I know if it is, I'm in trouble because I've been well, talking we, about my battle station forever. <laughs> well, you know, we had somebody on the pod or whatever. The episode was actually called "Can We Talk About Battle Station?" You know, because when I was asking him about battle stations, he was like, man, "Can we talk?" I don't think we can talk about <laughs> battle stations. You know, he had just came from boot camp, yeah. so I guess that's what they get told. But what the fuck is the secret to battle station? Can't be no secret, man. Somebody help us out with this, man. Is that a secret thing? What? What's yeah, going on? Like, they. They got whole documentaries on YouTube about battle yeah. stations, man. I don't, like, know. I don't understand. You know, just like the Chiefs, uh, the Chiefs, the vessel. Like you could Google that shit. That's why I'm like, I'd be wondering, like, like what, like what, what, what are we so secretive about? Like, like yeah. what's the secret? This stuff is like public, public information. Yeah. You know, I still don't talk about you know the vessel and stuff like that. You know, just to keep in with the heritage. Yeah. And stuff like that, but Edition, you could, yeah. it's, in, it's on Google. You know what I mean? But the the, the the battle station thing, though, that's just on YouTube, man. Like multiple videos. Like, what's so secretive about it, man? Yeah, man. It's like a, a it's a boat. You know what I mean? And you act out a mass <laughs> a, a mass casualty. Like, like I don't understand what. Like, I don't, I don't get it. Like, what's so secretive about that? Yeah, ain't nothing secret about it, man. And everything we do now is getting like less secretive anyway, man. Like we, <laughs> like man, like I remember when we first. Talked about the, the even the chief stuff, man. It was like everything was like, no, you can't talk about it. You can't. Man, we we inviting the officers in. We inviting these different, you know, people in. Come look at this. Come look at that. Let's show this. After a while, it's going to be a full, you know what I mean? Shit. This public, is public. Public display. Yeah. It's going to be a public display. Yeah. The, the season yeah, going to be a public it's gonna be, display. It's going to be bleachers over there as we going through the season. Anybody want to stay there and watch? <laughs> just, just check us out, man. That's crazy, <laughs> man. To? Hey, before we do anything, pulse check, man. How how you doing? How you feeling? Feeling good, good? man. Feeling good. Um, you know, I mean, I when it comes to if we talking about health wise, man, I've been you know same struggles, man. With this, man. Sometimes I get up at like I'm like I'm seventy five years old, man. <laughs> this back yeah. shit, but um, I'm getting better though, man. You know, um, I'm walking a lot. Like I heard that was one of the biggest things to help me out, help me get back, man. So shit, man. I've been walking like seven miles a day, man. Um, uh, so how long that take? Huh? How long that take? Two hours from two hours and four minutes to two hours and seven minutes, man. I've been <laughs> doing oh, it. Time like today I'm walking longer than that though. You know, in a few minutes, man. We're gonna I'm gonna hit it hard today though. So it's a weekend. Yeah. You know what I mean? I'm gonna hit it hard. Oh, the weekend you gotta go harder. Yeah, huh? man, go go hard the weekend. <laughs> Take man. a longer walk. Get <laughs> longer walk. Ain't, cra- ain't getting older crazy, you know. I know you used to be in the gym hard, working out, getting like boom. It's like man, it's like let me just tone it down. Let me hit this walk. Like sometimes yeah. I don't even be as mad to go to Planet Fitness no more. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'm amongst like minded individuals. Like, we ain't gonna put up too much weight. We're gonna do something <laughs> that's you're not even supposed to do in the gym just to stretch hard. People be in Planet Fitness dancing with the weights, bro. <laughs> What's up, boy? That the guy name. <laughs> yeah, people be going crazy, man. Uh, it's, a dude, it's a dude on TikTok. I forgot his name now, man. It's a swole, Joe, Joey Swole. You ever heard of Joey uh, Swole? So Joey Swole, he is a dude on TikTok that when you film, 
sometime I'm in Planet Fitness, for instance, and I want to film somebody doing some of the wild shit they do in Planet Fitness, but I don't want to film it because Joey Swole, he had come for you, bro. Like, if you film somebody doing something crazy and then you put it on social media, Joey Swole is going to come <laughs> for you. Like, yo, why are you filming people? <laughs> Yo, you got to find out who Joey, Joey Swole, Swole is, bro. Yeah. Like, yeah, he'd be like, why are you filming people while they working out? You know what I mean? <laughs> like, I, I, I like, I like that when the women be in the gym or whatever and like a dude is in the gym and they like, oh, he keep looking at me, he harassed me or whatever. Joey Swole be like, well, why you got your camera out in the gym? That's a public place. People go, boo, boo, boo. And then the Joey Swole fans... They start making death threats to the to the people. Oh my all types goodness. of stuff. You know, so the ladies gotta get back on. They got they gotta go off of, you know, social media is like a whole world of the stuff. They gotta like cancel their accounts, go on social media, and make public apology. Oh my Joey Swole, yo, Joey Swole will come for you. Be careful. <laughs> <man>. <laughs> Be careful. Uh. It's funny about <laughs> My, I guess my iPhone was in like write whatever you say mode. So I got like 400 words written about <laughs> Joey Swole. <laughs> it be, it be oh, like man. that too, shit. Bro, Joey Swole will come for you. Bro, what's your, uh, what, what's your do better? Yeah, man. So, um, give me one second. Hold on. I, I oh, yeah. Yeah. Better. So my do better, man. So I'm on the ship. Right, uh-huh. and when I'm talking to one of my guys, man. I know, like one of the guys. I see one of my guys, man. He'll see in chief also, but we know each other, man. Um, um, and we was talking. He he just got to the ship, and he was like, "Man, all the leeches and stuff got to go through him because you know, you know how the IET is now, man. In the surface world, man, like you got to really look into it. People, you know, taking leave are they really qualified and all this type of stuff, right? So." Uh-huh. He said, man, people taking leave to get out of underways. Mm. And he said, they are getting approved up and down the chain of command. Now, my first thought was, man, you know how, like, like, am I wrong? Am I wrong, world? I want to know, am I wrong? Let me know. That leave shit don't get past me if it's an underway. I'm telling you right now, look, they put dates on there for they for they when they want to go and leave. I'm on the ship. I go right to the underway days and to see if they're taking leave during the underway period. That's one of my first things I do. And I go right back and I will say, hey, you know this underway day, right? You got to really have something going on to miss the underway. So then I try to find out what they got going on. I, I need more information then because I'm going to have to explain that. Like if you missing the underway day, it ain't just a okay. It's it's it's, it's leave. It's just, it don't matter. No, I need to be able to explain that, right? He told me, man, they taking leave like it ain't no deal missing underways and stuff. And I'm like, man, that's never been a thing for me. Like since I've been in the navy, people missing underway days just to take leave. Now you got emergency leave, you got school, you got a lot of other things going on to say you could take leave for, but not just to take leave. Right. Yes. It's your leave days. It's all that good stuff. I already know all the rules about whatever. But I'm saying missing uh, operational commitment. I don't think so. And that's my do better at, for the whole entire Navy. You taking leave doing an underway. I think it's an issue. I think it's a problem. I think it's going to get it's going to grow, too, if, if that's what we're doing. I mean, it's definitely gonna grow if you putting it out. I don't think too many people know about it for you talk for you put it in for you for you start talking about it. Oh. It's definitely gonna grow down. You're gonna make it popular. <laughs> to take you the other way. <laughs> I like so I know like my command, the command instruction says uh if your leave gets denied, um, then that's when so you know, it's this carrier. So it's leave is delegated to different people. You got the hides, the um the roles and stuff like that, right? But it says if you if your leave um, gets denied, then that goes up to the CO. So the CO will see whatever leave that get denied from whoever get denied from. So I just I don't I don't know, man. What you said to me was the, if leave is doing an underway, it ain't gonna make it past you. No, hold up, hold up. Let me let me let me <laughs> let me correct that. Like let me correct that. When I say it doesn't make it past me. I mean, I need more clarification before I move it up. You're right. I can't deny a leave check, right? We yeah. know that. Like, it got to be signed by a CEO. What I mean by that is when I see it, I check the underway days. 
I have to now go talk to you because I got to put that in the comments. Like, why is this sailor taking leave doing, doing a, um, underway? So I can write my little comments and then say, hey, this sailor taking leave doing this time, or I'm going to put no, and it's the reason why I'm saying no. I just need more clarification. I can't just say yes or no without having clarification when a sailor is going un- missing underway. I'm not just going to yeah, put yes that, on it. If it's an underway period, I'm not just putting yes and move it up. That's not what I'm Yeah, doing. I mean, because you don't want to look... Stu- you don't, Like, you're yeah. going to... Like, it's like, yo, I'm yeah. like... That's what I mean, you know? world. I'm not... Den- yeah. <laughs> I don't do not believe you. At, at first, yo, <laughs> I at first I thought that power... But what you said, at first I thought that power was going <laughs> yeah, to your yeah, head. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I got <laughs> like, that, I got you. I was like, oh, now I see what the sellers mean <laughs> like when they say that, you know? <laughs> you know what I mean, oh, man? Yeah. Um, my do better is... Hey, look. I'm going to be straight with us right now. Um, you know, uh, we talk a lot about these nav admins and we kind of go through them and we like try to figure stuff out, do deep dives and all that. I am, so I get a little frustrated when we keep rolling out these new guidances without thinking all the way through these guidances. And then some of the questions that people ask after these guidances, like some of the easiest shit you could have thought about. You know what I mean? It's like, where like do these things go and get to? Like, where do they get sent up to be reviewed? All this stuff, like the senior listed marketplace thing. It's confusing, bro. And it's muddy out there. It's muddy. The questions that we was asking on a pod about what if it ain't no billets and all that. Somebody, it's people now like, damn, it could not be. It's people now like, hey, it's more of us than billets. This could happen like what, twice? And then I'm getting rolled back into having to be selected again, it's people like, man, I'm going to just wind up just getting out if that's the case. You know what I mean? I'm sitting on the deck plates or in the messes or whatever and hearing conversations. Like, people are very confused about this thing, man. You know what I mean? And I don't think we had it all together when we put it out. You know what I mean? And that's just, that's my thoughts on that along with this TIS thing. Yeah. It ain't no way now, we throw this TIS thing. I don't know who it is. I'm going to say we got the best and brightest putting this together. We throw it out and we got some E3 and below sellers just joined the military within the last three years asking questions that should have easily been answered. Yeah, You know what I mean? Why don't we kind of test row these things out? This, and I don't know the process. I wish I did. You know what I mean? But why don't we kind of test row these things out to the people that's going to be affected and get some of the information first? It was, it was like when we was trying to start 360 on a ship. We had all the meetings with the people, like, how did this fail? What did this, what are doing? All right, let's figure out. I mean, it still wasn't that great a success, but we still had all these meetings to figure out this, 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 you know? I don't get it with what we're doing with a, a lot of this stuff. I think we mismanaged, mishandled COVID. I think we mismanaged, mishandled the way we did the uh, your analysis program and stuff during COVID. I just think a lot of things we just kind of, in my opinion, just messing up, bro. Yeah. Um, and it's because we just, it's like, it's like, we we like, all right, before I push the button, no, nah, fuck it. I'm going to push the button. You know what I mean? It's like, nah, wait for a second, you know? Or is it like, are we planning um, for like to do like system updates like as it goes? Like, is everything beta? Like, are we putting out beta versions of like, remember back the old cell phones that came out when you get your new iPhone and it's like glitches or, or, or it'd be like a, a Android or something and it's glitches and everybody be like, yo, I'm never getting the first version of the phone. I'm all, remember back yeah. in the days when yeah. you would never get the first version because it was glitches? Yeah. Is that's like, is that what's happening to our nav admins? Like, it's like, all right, let's just wait till a new nav admin come that update from the last nav admin where they give clarity or Let's just wait till my Navy HR get on and just give, like, are we just like, all right, let's throw this out and see the response type shit? Yeah. Like, is that, if that's what we're doing, then okay, I get it. But because these things don't seem like they be the end all be all because people have a lot of fucking questions nowadays, bro. And I just think, I, I think in a time where we talk about clarity, communication, and I love my Navy HR, I love like how intuitive it is. I love how they always got, you know, even clearing up nav admins and stuff like that. But I think when we're talking about communications being like always an issue everywhere you go, it seemed like even at the highest level now when we issuing out these nav admins, that's super confusing and all this shit. I think we still looking at bad communication, bro. Yeah. Man, and 
<clears throat> so I agree. Um, totally. Um, the marketplace though, right? The marketplace thing to me, um, for, for, for example, I just think we wasn't ready for it at all, right? When it comes to how we was going to execute it. Yeah. We, we knew what we was going to do. We know we was going to make these guys. We know we wasn't going to let them put it on until they take billets, but everything in between <laughs> wasn't yeah. ready. You got detailers right now still doesn't, don't know. They don't even know yet. Like what's going to happen. And I'm telling you, I'm talking to details all the time, right? Like they don't know what yeah. is going to, what, what is the next step? They get more information, they get more information, but they still don't understand everything yet. And I understand that, but the difference between this though and the, the TIS thing for E1 and E4 is different because of the fact that they was talking about the marketplace before. We just didn't understand. Yeah. They did put it out early. We knew it was coming, yeah, right? But the TIS thing to me is like on a whole nother level though. I mean, I didn't have a clue. We, when that message came out, I don't know if everybody was like me, but the time it came out, I was like, oh, let me read this. Or, oh, I got some on my phone said, hey, you, you saw that the new TIS? You need to look at yeah. that. Y'all get to talk about it or whatever the case may be, but it came out of nowhere though, yeah. right? And the thing with them, and, and back to this marketplace, man, like, I hope that we we can figure out and, and, and make this better. I know how this is the first version of it, but next year, man, we doing this for the eights, right? If we don't get this shit correct, it's going to be a long, probably, way more eights than it is, you know what I mean, the, the Master Chiefs. So now you got a yeah. bigger number that's coming next year. Then it's going to the, you know, the Chiefs, it's, it's going to keep going. So I'm hoping, yeah. you know, that And we, then it's going to the Junior Seller. Yeah. Like the BBD. Yeah. And BB, I mean, BBD should be in our face. Like, like, yeah. like, we shouldn't have to go like hunt this information down. Like, this BBD shit should be like in our faces. You know what I mean? And that's, I mean, that's my opinion. Yeah. You know, I know some other people probably know. Fuck that. Like, you should like go hunt it down. Go for like BBD. Like, everybody should understand how this whole thing is gonna work before it roll out. And that's when all the questions. You know, people not seeking this info. You know, people ain't going to seek information. Like, nope. that, like this thing should be in our faces. But you was talking about the eights. You know, eight, it used to be a test for eight. Did you know that? It used to be an exam. No, I never back heard of that. Back in the 70s. Yeah, oh, back shit. in the 70s. I was on like, yeah, I was on the Chiefs Facebook and people was bringing up, um, I got like a picture of the study guide or whatever, but it used to be a test for eight. You oh, wow. You test to put eight on, man. Super this Chiefs was in the 70s. I think test, it, huh? <laughs> yeah, I think it stopped in like 79. Mm -hmm. But look at eating half it, bro. Back to, you know, back to where it's talking about. Look at eating half it. Like, Enafit came out. We weren't ready for no Enafit. There's some people that's, like, not even using it. Like, they like, nah, let's just keep using 98. <laughs> like, Enafit ain't making no sense. Look at Prims. Yeah. You know, look at the new, what's the medical thing that that, that rolled out? You know, look at... Yeah. Uh, Genesis. What's yeah. the... Genesis, right? What's the electron? We got a new scad coming soon, right? What's the electronic, uh, the thing everybody use now? Flank speed. Flank or whatever. speed, yeah. How muddy that was. Like, wow, this shit just keep being muddy, man. Yeah. And, and, you know and, what I mean? and believe it or not, I think some of those systems and some of that stuff, I want to know. I don't know for facts. I'm just talking. You know what I mean? It's my opinion. Is it a money thing? Are we changing all these programs because a new person and bought something out or whatever the case may be? I, don't know. I heard Radom finna leave. It ain't going to be Radom no more. It's going to be called something else. You know what I mean? Well, like, because they got bought out or whatever. I don't know, man. But and then these should be old by the time we get them. Yeah. You know, they be about 10, 20 years yeah, old by the time we start using them. Don't even get me shit. started on that shit, bro. Don't even <laughs> get me started, bro. Like, shit happened. They have a contract that was done 10 years ago, and you telling me you can't change it because it's in the contract that they did 10, 15 years ago. You know what I mean? Yeah. Dude, this stuff. So when we go in the yard period, now we can change it. Bro, you right here yeah. right now. We talking right now. Change this shit right now. You're the same person that's going to come change it in two, three months after I go in the yard. Why you can't just change it like right now? Yeah. It's crazy. Yeah, I mean, we got a new OS coming, man. It's going to be Microsoft Vista. You know? <laughs> <laughs> you know? How old is this shit, man? Uh, got to come on, y'all, man. Oh, come man, on. Bro. Hey, so I got, a, I got a random question for you. Um. What's the most surprise you ever been while watching a movie? Like the biggest <laughs> twist ever got you, bro? Or whatever. Like this that. is too easy for me, bro. Too easy for me. I know you know where I'm going. You probably gonna be like, "Yep." It's when fucking on uh, the show, um, 
shit, I just forgot it. Damn, I just the show where they um the the mummies, not the mummies, but the um where they kill Glenn. Whoa, boy, kill Glenn. Oh, the Walking Dead. <laughs> Wait, Walking Dead, bro. Yeah, Walking, walking Dead. Walking Dead when old boy lined them up, neat neat <laughs> lined them up and bashed him with that bat, bro. In my whole yeah. life, bro, I think that was the most, <laughs> that was the most bro. craziest shit I didn't saw, man. And I did not see that coming. I did, I, I yeah. did not see that happening, bro. So, I mean, if we talk about shows, I got a couple. I think Game of Thrones probably gave me two of those moments. But I'm going to say, I'm going to give a movie, though. The movie I'm going to give is, uh, and it's probably a lot, but I'm going to give one movie. Saw Part 1, the first Saw that ever came out. I remember, I remember this clear as day. I wasn't as much of a movie fan as I am now. I used to get bored watching them. I go to sleep. I fall asleep. So we had Saw on bootleg. We got Saw on bootleg. I think Saw in the first uh, Ring movie came out around the same time, I think. But we got Saw on bootleg and we had the Ring. They watching Saw. I went to sleep in like the first three minutes, you know. And then when we, you with your sisters, you with your sibling, your sister, your brother. It's that whole, yo, you sleep, go upstairs, you sleep. You know, yeah, you sleep, go upstairs, you sleep. So I went upstairs. The next morning, my sister comes. She's like, yo, we got to watch that movie today. I'm like, for real? She's like, yeah, we got to watch it. I'm like, I'll watch it. I'll watch it whenever. My brother come later. He like, hey, we got to watch that movie. I'm like, okay, all right, I'll watch it. Like, what's so dope about this movie? You know what I mean? <laughs> so I was like, yeah, I'm going to put it on at such and such. And my brother like, nah, I want to watch it with you. You know, and then I see my sister. My sister's like, yo, I got to watch it with you. <laughs> so I'm like, why well, anybody want to watch this damn movie with me, right? So we put the movie on, you know, and it's two dudes. You saw the first Saw movie, right? That long saw time ago, one. yeah, yeah. Yeah, so it's two dudes. They in like the bathroom, whatever. And then it's a dead body in the middle of the floor. And I'm the whole time. And the reason why, because I, I got bamboozled, but I felt stupid because I'm looking at the body like, yo, what's up? Well, how's this random body in the middle of the floor like this or whatever? You know what I mean? And then, you know, the end of Saw, the music come on or whatever. And the whole time that they was going through everything, they was in there with the boy, the dude, because the dude was the body or whatever. He stood up, he got up. I was like, oh, shit. <laughs> you know, and then, and they were, and they was like, but the whole time we watching the movie, they just looking at me like they like, <laughs> yeah, the whole time they just waiting, you know. And Your when reaction. that part come, yeah, yeah, when it come, they both looking at me. I'm like, oh shit! So yeah, that was a classic. For me, that was a classic surprising movie. It's a whole lot of them, but yeah. that was one that I always remember. That first experience watching Saw. Yeah, that was that another was. random question. Yo, well, hold up, was that dope for you? Do you, yeah, remember, yeah. you well, remember? I, that? I remember that right? part with it getting up. So yeah, that was kind of crazy. Yeah. yeah. And no other saw, I don't care what they did, part two was cool. No other saw lived up to that, to me, to that twist. And that looked like a $30 million movie. It was cheap, like 18 yeah. to $30 million movie yeah. or something. But um, do you write out your goals? Uh, I don't write out my goals, man. Um, uh -huh. and, and the reason why I say this, man, because I used to, though. I'm not saying I always, I used to, but I was, you know, you always on TikTok, you always on Facebook reading stuff. And this one guy told me, one guy said some shit on there, man. And he was like, he don't write down his goals because goals, he don't want to have an end date to it. He said things that he's trying to do, you know what I mean? He don't want to, he just didn't want to put like an end to it. But then I thought about it right. a little bit. Some things need an end to it though. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> Some things need to You can't be it. trying to lose 30 pounds forever. <laughs> well, <laughs> you know, so, um, but I don't write them, but I don't write them down. Now, that's not to say I'm not focused on them though, right? I'm not focused on like, like even with the like weight loss or whatever the program is, I don't, I don't set a goal for that no more, right? I used to. I used yeah. to be like, man, I'm finna lose these 10 pounds or whatever. Now I'm like, man, I'm trying to lose gradually every day. That's a part of getting older. Yeah. That's like a part of getting older because it's like, yeah, I'm going to eat what I want to eat. I'm going to drink, you know, yeah. like, but when I want to, I'm, I ain't going to do too much at the gym so I'm going to lose as a go. You, <laughs> when you was younger, in your 20s, you like, all right, look, I'm only going to eat granola bars for a week straight. <laughs> and all this. You start submitting. You start submitting to the bullshit. Yeah, you get man. Older, like, yeah. Man, I'm about to get this steak. I'm about to get this lobster, man. Yeah. Like, you only live once. You know what I mean? I think but, now, man, like, and you're right, man. It has something to do with me getting older, though, man. Like, only kind of, like, goals I set. If I say, okay, I'm going to make a big purchase or something. 
I may put a date on something. Say, I'm finna, I'm finna yeah. get this amount of money right now, put this to the side. I'm gonna get this amount and this length of time. And I'm gonna go get this big purchase I'm finna get right now. Something like that. Maybe I might, you know, track. Um, but other than that, nah, I don't, I, I know what I need to get done, man. I try to get it done. Do you have any goals? Like, like not like buying things or material goals, but like any personal goals? Or well, my pers- goals? my personal goal, man, I got two, two right now personal goals, man. Like one is I want to finish the master degree, of course. That's one of my... But ain't no limit. That, that's you ain't put no limit. Yeah, ain't no, no limit on that goal. <laughs> ain't no time limit. <laughs> I took six months off, so ain't no limit to that. But I do want that to be on. And, and, and that goal is more for... It's there. It's in my grasp, man. But to tell you the truth, man, the master thing is more about two things. One, because my wife got one. <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, and then the I second know. one is it's for the kids. No lie. It's like for them like to look at like like our little... Little, love me wall or whatever. Say okay, they, 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 yeah. when we get older and shit. Okay, the the other goal, man. I'm trying to. Um, this guy, man, gave me a kind of an opportunity, man. Like he told me, like he he does the firefighting. Uh, he look at the let me see the equipment, all the firefight. Um, what we're looking for, all the um, the firefight equipment in like targets and WalMarts and stuff, right? So me and him was having this conversation. He was like, hey, you can be a contractor yourself. You can get us your own contractor license and fire protection. And I can yeah. contract you out to all these buildings that I already own, that I'm already doing this work in. I can contract, I can write you a contract and you're going to go do this for five years in these buildings yeah. and Walmart and whatever. And I was like, man. Then I started thinking about that shit more and more. I can get that and make that my business. You know what I mean? Have somebody else go do the work. I can, you know, so little things like that. I got a goal of trying to get that contract and license, which it ain't, yeah. it ain't bad, bro. It ain't a bad price and a bad, nothing. I just got to, you know, find out what I'm doing, where I'm at and all this stuff and stay and start on it. Yeah. Kinda- well, you know, the Navy, we use the smart goals thing when we do midterm. And I, I, I'm going to start doing something like that outside of, outside of work because I need to write down my goals, man. I realize that I have things and I work toward things, but I don't have nothing like keeping me in line. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like with certain goals, like I want to be like, hey, I want to do this. Like I want to do like one music project, like one more music project in my life, you know, at least one more music project or something. So I, I, I might now need to like at this point, write it down. Like, hey, have this done by this date so I can have some checks and balances. You know, some things I still want to do that I think now I need to, I've been doing too much of that, no limit, you know, to the gold thing. You know what I mean? Where it's like, all right, now I want to do this. Like, all right, for us, like, for instance, like, like, do we want a million followers? You know what I mean? Like, if we want a million followers, when do we want a million followers by? If you want a million followers or a million listeners, uh, which is probably a better term, um, it's things you got to do. You know, it's things you got you to gotta up the ante on certain things. It's things you need to do to get to a million listeners. You know, yeah. and even if you don't ever hit a million, you hit 500,000 or you hit 700,000 or something like that. You know, but it's like, it. I feel like sometimes you got to structure that the same way we put work lists together on the ships, the same way we like, it's like, you know, these are the things that we kind of can, can find ourselves into our bye-bye. So I do, I think I want to start writing out my goals. I know, and I know like people like Aaron, like Aaron, for instance, Aaron Paul, Aaron probably like, yeah, bro, like you need to write your goals yeah. now or being yeah. or whatever. Like you need to write your goals now because it's like I'm better with visual things. I'm better when yeah. I see things. You know what I'm saying? So I think I think for me that's what I'm. It's, I probably do it in my barracks room. Man, it's crazy. You can't put nothing on the walls or nothing, man. Yeah, I, I, I asked him if I could mount the TV. You know, I'm a I'm a senior chief coming to the barracks. You know, I'm a like I, I'm a high sedity. I'm like, yo, can I mount my TV, man? You know, she was like, come on, see, you know you can't. You know you can't mount no TV <laughs> up in there, man. You can't put nothing on the walls, you know. Uh, but I think I'm gonna get like a white, a white, a white piece of paper or something. Yeah. You know, they don't even want you putting the sticky, the little, the stick, the things that stick or whatever. So I think I'm gonna get like a white piece of paper and put some actual goals on there, whether it be weekly goals, monthly goals, a yearly goals, or all the, all of them. Yeah. And just start like tack like checking boxes like, all right, I did this, I did that, yeah. I did this, I did that. You know, I think you kind of got to do that. And I, I'm always preaching that. Like even with my wife now, she's pregnant, you know, and she's, man, Angelina's like a free person. Yo, she like just this free bird of a person where it's like, 
I'm having a baby. She don't got no timeline for nothing. You know what I mean? Like, you know, like I want to, I want her to post on Facebook that she having a kid so I can repost it. Right, right. So I can be like, ah, oh, man, she finally said it. You know, but every week she got another reason why she moved the goalposts on like why she don't, <laughs> why she don't want to post it. You know what I mean? Some of it, I believe it probably comes, we lost our last baby. You know what I mean? So yeah. there's some privacy there and still some stuff. But it's like, you know, I'm like, so what do you need to do in order to post about, you know, the pregnancy? Because I, I, as the, like, I don't want to post first. Yeah. You know, it's her, it's, it's our baby. She carrying it. It's her comfortability. We lost the baby. I'm like, what you need to do? Oh, I need to tell my family. I got all these people that I ain't call. Yeah, I need this. I need to do that. So now, you know, she's like, but if it ain't done next week, then it don't matter, babe. You know, but it's still, you got to post, babe, you know? So yeah. then the next week, now, now it's the next week, you know, and I already knew she ate. I already knew she, 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 I hope she listened to this part, but I already knew she didn't like talk to her family. So, but it's the next week. So I'm like, hey, babe, like, I know you've been busy talking to all your family and all that. I knew she ain't talking to her family, you know what I mean? So uh, <laughs> she's like, what you talking about? I was like, you know, like telling them about the pregnancy. She's like, oh, I ain't do that. She's like, it's probably, you know, I'm like, she's like, it don't matter at this point. You know, let's, you could, uh, we, we might as well just post. But then she was like this, because she ain't told her job yet. So then she said, well, me and my boss, we got the same alma mater. So we got some of the same friends. So I'm going to have to tell my boss first before I even put it on Facebook. <laughs> but I know she ain't ready to tell her boss yet. So now it's like, all right, so the goalpost moved again, yeah. which I'm good. Like, whatever it is, she, and I, you know, I want to tell my friends yeah. that I'm not going to call and tell. And my family that I'm not going to tell, call and tell. But whatever she comfortable with, I'm comfortable with it. The listeners, whoever listens to the podcast know, yeah. of course. But man, I'm most definitely waiting to. I'm waiting on you to post soon. Yeah, <laughs> man. Like, baby, post, <laughs> baby. Shit. We, we almost you. halfway through the pregnancy. <laughs> we At are. this point, like, let's post, man. You <laughs> know? Uh, waiting. So before you, I think you got like two things you want to get into. I got one other thing. Uh, and that's just who, for whoever need to hear this. But I know it's either one or hundreds of people that need to hear this. The command will survive without you, bro or ma'am or whoever you are. You know, the command will survive without you. Take your fucking leave. Don't worry about your transfer. Don't act like the whole <clears throat> ship going to go down. If you ain't there no more, your command will survive when you leave. If you leave. If you got to do something, take care of yourself. Get done what you need to get done. Get out of your own head. The command going to make it. I hate when people, I had like chiefs ask me before, like, oh, what we going to do when this person leave? What? <laughs> what? We going to do whatever it was we did before. We going to keep working. Ain't like, even if it take longer, that shit don't mean nothing. nothing. Like, we still going to work. This ain't whatever it was. You know what I mean? Admiral Nimitz been gone. You know what I mean? <laughs> Admiral Nimitz been gone. We still, still, we still a Navy, baby. bro. It's still a Navy. You know what I'm saying? We, we still, who, who, was our, who, our, who was our last hero of the week, man? Uh, McCampbell. Yeah. <laughs> Captain David, that's McCampbell. You know what I mean? He ain't, up in the, he ain't up in the air no more. You know what I mean? He was the ace. We still up in the air? Still we there, still bro. got pilots? Still there. You know what I mean? Just do your thing, man. But yeah, that's something that and, 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 you know, I don't want to go into the weeds with it because I don't know if Damon want to go into the weeds with it. But if you need to know, notice the command is going to survive without your ass. You are not that damn special. Yeah. And, I love you, and, and, but yeah. you're not that special. And, and that's a special message, man. And that's a special message for everybody that's out there, man. And that even comes to retirement. You know what I mean? Not just leaving the command, retirement yeah. too. The, the Navy is going to keep working. And I have a big issue with it too. I used, well, I take that back. I used to have a big issue with it. Like, I used yeah. to, like, I used to feel bad. You know what I mean? The sailors come to me like, hey, when, when you leave, you can't stay longer. No, no, no. Gotta go. You know what I mean? I used to yeah. feel bad about things like that, man. But like you said, though, man, like, it's gonna continue to move, man. It's gonna continue to go, uh, to, to, to work. Like, I'm not the only freaking, DC in, in the Navy, man. You know what I mean? Not the only chief in the Navy. So things going to continue to happen, man. It's going to happen at a high level too. Probably way better than I can do it. So yeah. just, it is what it is, man. Like you said about the retirees though, your back hurting, <laughs> your knees hurt, <laughs> your feet hurt, you got sleep apnea, you done went gray, <laughs> you done lost your hair. 
You know what I mean? Like you are you on a different diet. You don't even eat the same, can't even eat half the shit they serve in the galley. You sitting there dipping your neutral grain bars and milk. You dipping your neutral grain bars and UHT. It's time to go. Oh it's man. Time to, it's time to me. To, oh, you got over you got <laughs> I'm talking to you. Dude. You got over 26 years. You Walking 10 miles to, and shit. You still trying to hit the marketplace for nine. You know what I mean? Oh, it's time to get out, get out of there, man. Just because you can still fit the, the uniform from boot camp don't mean that you still an E1. You know yeah, what I mean? Man. Get on out, man. Go live out the rest of your life, man. Yeah, day, man. <laughs> I, I ain't mean to be talking to you, <laughs> <laughs> Oh, shit. Hey, man, I want to give a shout out, man. Mm-hmm. So, uh, I actually did not get to meet this guy when he was on board, I think he was your relief um, yeah. on board the Rafael Peralta, man. Um, EMC Arroyo, man. So I, I, I saw, what is what is first name? Justin. Justin. Arroyo, man. So, Damn, but you put me to the test there. Yeah, I did, I did. I knew you knew. I knew you knew. I knew you knew. I knew you So I test. saw him on a different ship. So, he, so I saw yeah. him like, oh shit. But I knew He's him. Because I went back to the ship again afterwards when it was in, in Japan. So I kind of like met him then. So I knew him. So I seen him on there, man. We was chopping it up, man. And um, so he made LDO, you know, last year. So he yeah, waiting to yeah. put, you know, LDO on and things like that. So we talked about that a little bit, man. And he was just t- talking to me, man, about like, actually me and you, man, on how like, man, when you guys left there, man, you guys like left a, a legacy on board of how people talked about you guys like, all the freaking time in the mess, in the wardroom, in the what's called like that, man. And I sit there and I thought about it for a second, man. I never think about things like that, man. Yeah, I never, I, I always think, man, we, we just trying to do our damn job. You know what I mean? We trying to take care of sailors, but I never look at it like um, a legacy or anything like that that we were leaving, man. So I had to sit back and, you know, and, and think about that for a minute. I'm like, thank you, man. Like, I actually like thanked him. You know what I mean? For like telling, he didn't have to tell me that. He didn't have to say nothing like that to me. We were just chopping it up. And he just like brung that up, man, like on how people, you know, loved you guys on there for doing you guys' job and try to, you know, not not necessarily um, um, trying to be everybody's friend, but telling them the truth too, though. You know what I mean? Telling them what's yeah. real, not just like, you know, just just being part of something, man, that's like bigger. You know what I mean? And just you, man. That, that kind of made me think about things like that, man. Yeah, I never think about shit like that for a lot of reasons. Um, yeah. A whole lot of reasons. Some of it is like self-doubt type shit that I don't feel like getting into right now. We ain't about to have a therapy session. You know what I mean? But a lot of it is you don't know it while it's happening, you know, yeah. on both sides of the fence. You know, whether you're making an impact, you probably don't know you're making an impact. I'm just, I'm just even when we party, I'm being my regular self, right? Also, sometimes when you are making an impact, it's some things that are when some, let's say when somebody's making an impact on you, it's some things you might take for granted until that person leaves. Yeah. Or you might not really have full clarity on their intentions and, you know, whatever, whatever, until that person leaves. You know what I mean? Because a lot of times you question shit, you, you know, you do this. What's the motive? What's the ulterior motive? But when somebody leaves and you realize, damn, this person never had a motive. Like they was just doing it, like, just because that's who they are as a person or whatever, it changes things. You get to reflect, you get to think about certain things like that. I think, like, what we did on, what, what like, what I always wanted to do on a Peralta was, like, just the human aspect, like, mattered. Like, so when the captain would come down to CCS and he would come down to, to be the captain and be dope and just talk to us and all this, and I would ask him questions, like, hey, like, you, you, like your kid, your sons, like, do they like Marvel movies? But when, like, you know, we having those kind of questions or whatever. Now we could do that and we could still work and we could still be professional. We could still get shit done. Um, but we could still have fun and we could still ha- like show our talents and we could still like express ourselves and all that stuff. And I, and I, and I honestly, I, I go into every command wanting to leave a legacy, but I never think I do it. You know yeah. what I mean? My first ship ever, I think, you know, I think I, my, I think my jersey in the rafters, you know what I mean? Like, I know for sure my first ship ever, like, you know, we made history on there, but I never, like, I was a junior seller at that time. As a khaki, it's a lot for me as a khaki, it's a lot of doubt with how people receive you because of perception, because of the, the uniform and uh, the, the anchors and all of that yeah. stuff. So for me, it's a lot of that. 
you know, even if you being as pure as you could be, bro. Yeah. You know? I, I tell you, man, one of my one of one of my things, man, that I, I try to try to pride myself on, man, is like not letting shit get to me, man. Like that much. Yeah. Like I, I'm always gonna be if you catch me not smiling and, and not like having fun, it's probably some serious shit going on, right? Because I'm always yeah. not letting the big shit get we we gonna work it out, man. You know what I'm saying? Like we, we, it's going to work out. Like we can make it happen. It may take a little longer. It may take a whatever, but let's, let's, let's work this out. And they need to get in, getting all in an uproar about it because it's still, it's happening. So we just got to find out how we're going to fix it and don't let it get to you, man. Like, like I was big on that, man. Like just, man, let's keep it going, man. Let's, let's make this shit happen. Like we're going to make mistakes, but let's go, you know? You know what I finally learned, man. And, 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 I mean, and and just you know, on that, like, man, that we 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 had some great officers. We had some great mm, uh, mm. khaki. We were surrounded by that all the fucking time, you know. And that's just like you just being yourself, you know, a hundred percent being yourself, even even in a mess. I never tried too hard with people or whatever like that. But I loved that. I never had like I loved everybody the same. All that. But you know what I just learned, bro. What I just learned about. Well, what lesson I finally learned and I finally understand is that like everybody's not gonna like you, bro. Like you're not no, not even everybody not gonna like you. You're not gonna be everybody's favorite. Yeah. You know, you're not. Yeah. You know, I just learned like, you know, I've been talking about it for a while, saying I needed to learn it. I just pretty I just learned that lesson just last week. You know? Yeah. Like I'm not gonna be everybody favorite. Yeah. You know, that's not what what it is. You know, you you might be a couple people's favorite. You might not be anybody's favorite, but you definitely not gonna be everybody's yeah. favorite. And you gotta uh, accept people it. got different up yeah, people got different upbringings, different ways they see things, different ways they relate to the world. You are not gonna be yeah. everybody's favorite. It don't matter how great you think you are and how good you think you're doing. Yeah. Bro. Everybody ain't gonna and like you could be shit. right. <laughs> you could be right yeah. about some shit. It doesn't matter, man. It, a different thought process, man. A different thought yeah. process on how to how people think different about different values. Yeah, different, different values. values. All that system, stuff matters, man. You know so you're right, man. That's 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 big, man. And 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 you know how much more that opens your mind up, though, thinking like that. Like everybody's not gonna like instead of trying to close yourself off, trying to get this person, like, why this person? No, everybody's not going. It's okay. Yeah, you know I mean, I it's found okay. Peace in that. Yeah, I found peace in that yeah. just last week, man. No, that's real peace in that, bro. Most definitely, man. Hey, also, man, I um, I think we want to get into this, right? The, the, you know, the, the, what is, um, call to action, right? The, the Mac Pong got another call to action, man. He, well, he got three of them. He already put all three of them out, but we, we on number two right now. You know what I mean? Yeah, I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm riding with you, right? I'm in a boat with you. You know what I mean? I ain't got no oars or no paddles and that. Like, but I'm in a boat because, because, Hey, Mick Pond, check this out, Mick Pond. We love you, man. Um, but we would love more to have you on a podcast. I ain't about to dedicate 35, 40 minutes to every one of these calls to action. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, like, so, like so he, yeah, you're right. I mean, I'm, 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 I'm now, <laughs> hey, look, no more. I am now riding with you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we both for the boat. We, we, we both, we for, both the boat, for the boat you know right what now. I mean? But. For the world to know, though, we do it, he we do got it's another one out. Number two, call to action: professional in character development, right? Professional in character uh-huh. development. Um, so he made some. He, he, it's some good stuff in there. Um, uh, if you guys want to take a look at it, I'm not going to get too in, in depth in depth with it um, and go through everything. But I did want to point out uh, one portion in there where he was like. Uh, how how let me see how they fit into an organization has a lot to do with is what is expected of them and what they can depend on in the organization, right? And what mm-hmm. and, and and what that means to me is, man, that's that's training, man. That's that's the culture of that command and fitting in, man. So, um, it goes back to being the chief, man. Like that's all it's all about, man. Like I feel like. What Mac, what the Mac Pond is putting out stuff like we know already, <laughs> we yeah. know. But it, now he's just saying it, and he <laughs> and in these articles, man, he making it bold printed in certain spots and stuff. Yeah. But th- to be honest with you, man, this stuff we've been doing forever, man. It's just how 
dedicated you are to getting this stuff done that he's putting out. That's all it's about, man. Uh, learning yeah. your sailors and knowing he talked about when he talked about knowing your sailors and 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 asking the right questions, using the things that we do already, like CDBs and things like that. No, we already do this stuff, right? How dedicated you are in that CDB. How much are you asking about that sailor? How much are you ask about that sailor family? How much the, the values of the sailor? All this stuff that you can ask to get to know your sailor. And I'm here to tell you, show interest in your sailor goes a long freaking ways with that sailor. You know, yeah. this chief cares about me matters. You know, so yeah. I feel like that's where you're coming from a little bit on this. One. Yeah, yeah. When I was a, a work center suit, you know, I cared about the CSMP owns the workplace. You know what I mean? When I was a first class, I cared about the sellers, a lot about myself. You know what I mean? He's a work, he's first class, we always care about ourselves as a first class. I cared about myself and all of that stuff, you know? And even as a chief, I cared about um, the division, the uh, technical expertise, the growth and all of that, right? But my first couple of days, you know, on my new ship as, you know, coming in as a senior chief, one of the things I kept saying was what I really, really wanted to add to was the spirit of my division. The spirit of my mm. division. You know what I mean? Like, like, like some th- shit you can't put on paper. You know what I mean? Like how these, how these electricians feel about coming to work. You know, um, how they feel about like learning and uh, training and technical knowledge and how mm. inspired they are to do the job and shit like that, right? And I think everything Mick Pond saying kind of goes into that. You know, I, I, I hope I'm successful in that. You know, hopefully yeah. um, it's going to only time tells that, right? But I, I, that's what I really want to infect this time around is the spirit. I think leaving the last division, we, we kind of like the division itself had a spirit, you know, even the divos and everything like that. But this is a new thing. Um, and I never thought about it, but this is a new thing. So, but he's saying some specific stuff here, mm-hmm. like starting from the moment they receive orders, make sure they have the right sponsor underline. Like, don't just divvy the task out to whoever going to take it. Make sure it's somebody that care. When they report and during the entire onboarding and check-in process, make sure they have necessary support to ensure seamless transition, including housing and pay. So again, he talked about what we talked about the last time, you know, without getting too deep into everything he's saying, it's full scale leadership. It's like a 360 degree job, like we talked about. Yeah. Right? It's everything. All the shit that when you having conversations, locker room talk or whatever, all the things that every now and then you hear somebody say they don't care about, they ain't worried about. You know what I'm saying? Like I was talking to one of my first class. Well, I was talking to all my first class, but I talked to one of my first class. And like I said, the point is always, it's always a good point. Well, you know, the, we talking about adults, right? We talk about adults. But everything that I be reading in these things from Mick Pond, it's like, yo, you got to be involved in every part of this pro- process, man. Yeah. You know, and I think we learned the hard, I think I learned the, the hard lesson as a chief, um, which I appreciate even more now that I'm at this new command. Um, from the last command, it's like, the expectation of everything. Like, yo, what's up with this? The sellers, you know, the CO we had, you know, every, like parts, man, just a CSMP review with the CO. You got to know about every single job, like the part status. Uh, you know, I mean, I remember one time, I think I said it before, he was like, who, like, who makes this shit? Like Rolex or something? Like, like, like this ain't like made by NASA. Like it should not take you two years to get this part, you know? So what are you doing to find parts? Boom. boom. You know, right now, I'm look, we looking at CSMP's parts just, uh, you know, what's going on with the part? Like, I'm not used to, you know, we from where that wasn't the story. You know what I mean? Like, it was, you know what's going on with the part. If you don't know what's going on with the part, you better be on the phone trying to find out what's going on. But outside of that, because that's technical, that same spirit is then kind of transitioned over to like how, like your sellers, like that full scale leadership shit, man. You know what Bro, I mean? You like, had a good added example, man. To me, um, shots out, you know, but that was part of our development, though, man. That was another step because I used you all we did was used to print that shit out, bro. Print that shit out, highlight it, you know what I mean? Keep it moving. Yeah. Like, 
But when you start getting all these questions asked and then you start getting the answer, then you're like, man, you can translate that over to your sailors. You know what I mean? Things like that. So yeah. what you saying, man, that was a great freaking example, man. Like, like development, man. Character development, whatever you want to call it, man. That's professional. And it was, it was just, but when you, people don't know, when you got all these answers like that, though, you feel good. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like at the end of the day, you feel good. Even when you're talking to your sailors and you, and you walk in the P where they told you they from Vermont somewhere, right? And you go in there and say, hey, man, our mom's doing in Vermont. You know what I'm saying? Eyes may light yeah. up. You connection. know what I mean? Connection. Yeah, it's a yeah. connection. So, yeah, I'm walking up. I'm seeing sailors in the morning look tired at quarters. You know, I'm walking up to them. I'm like, hey, like, you all right? You know, so like, I actually, senior chief, I'm going through some stuff. Mm. I got some stuff going on. You know, this, this, that. And what I'm about to do, I'm about to make time for you. We got these hydras, the radios. I never heard them called hydras before, yeah, but hydra. we got these yeah, hydras. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Hydra. yeah. And, and, and you know, it's like, yo, I might, I might turn my hydra off if I'm talking to one of my sellers. You know what I mean? I heard, and I heard somebody say before, I don't know if it was Mick Pond or somebody. It was somebody, but we, I was with them. And, and they was like, I know, shout out to um, my old, one of my old CMCs, uh, Sean Craycraft. He wasn't my CMC, but he was my CMC. Uh, Sean Craycraft, and he said, hey, if I'm running late somewhere and, and I ain't go to like a meeting or somewhere I'm supposed to be committed to, just know that I'm somewhere with a seller. You know, I'm somewhere with a seller doing with the work that needs to be done. And it ain't no time limit to that shit. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's and, and, and again, that's all the stuff. Yeah. And that's all the stuff Mick Mom, you know, talking about on there. Yeah, man. You know, we have to value the seller perspective, like it ain't just another number, like it ain't just another new check in, another number. It is our responsibility to do all that stuff all the fucking time, bro. Yeah, you know, no doubt. It is, you know, it is what it is. And you don't even <laughs> got to read all that, everything he's saying. You know, to, I can read all that. the bold, yeah. the bold, yeah, the bold, you know, the bold. My goal is to ensure professional and character development is incorporated at multiple points throughout a seller's career. At the right time in the right manner, developing a good seller starts with the chief petty officer. When chiefs invest in their sellers and value their well-being, it creates trust and confidence within the team. All that shit's true. You know what I mean? All that shit's true. You know, if I added anything, it would be like, you know, if, if you don't be on a mount, you know, don't like be as accessible to your sellers as you want them to be to you or whatever. But yeah, all that's true. And I know people got problems with some of this stuff and well, you know, but like uh, to me, all that, you know, the things he's saying, you know, it's, it's, it's true stuff. But, yeah. you know, and we'll highlight each of these, but I don't think we're going to deep dive like we did the first. One. Yeah, no doubt. No doubt. All right, you man. know, but a hit dog holler. A hit dog holler, though, you know what that means? I know that's a down south joint, right? A hit dog, a hit dog, a holler. Oh, yeah. <laughs> right? I, no know? doubt right yeah. there, bro. A hit dog, a holler. I ain't even going to get into that. <laughs> But uh, book of the week, right? Yeah. Tipping point uh, by Malcolm Gladwell, right? And that was one of the, the Dean suggested that book when he was on a pod. Dean Howe from the Rising Sun podcast, shout out to him and everything he got going on. But uh, he suggested this uh, book a while, a while, a while ago, and it's just about how it how ideas pop, mm -hmm. like the point that makes ideas pop, and it's different. It's like three different type of people. I ain't gonna get into that, but it's like the perfect mix of each of these people, each of these types of people, like mavens and everything like that, the perfect mix of each of these types of people together make things pop. Um, and each, each of us have the qualities that each of these people would have. Um, we just, you know, got to tap into them at times and stuff like that. But everybody's equally as important to making something go crazy. You know what I mean? So I think it was a part in there about like Sesame Street and Blue's Clues. If, I, if I'm on the right, man, I'd be reading so many different books, man. I hope I'm on the right book. But it was just a part about like like what how this went crazy or whatever like that and just the perfect uh recipe at the time. So good book. I'm 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 so removed from I I read so many damn books that I can't do like full out reviews right now cuz yeah. it's just so many like it's so much shit in my head or whatever like that and then the ship and you know that's why y'all don't get the videos all it's just a lot, man. Um but we trying here, man. We you know we, we <laughs> <laughs> we really try, yeah, man. man. You know what I mean? Most definitely so trying, bro. We talk about it all yeah, the time, man. too, bro. So we, we most yeah. definitely trying, man. We ain't yeah. stopping, though. You know, we ain't stopping, saying? world. We ain't stopping. 
Yeah, we definitely not. And like I said, it'd be taking so long for our... I was trying to get the Shannon Sharp uh, <laughs> the Shannon Sharp quote pulled up, man. But it ain't, <laughs> it, it ain't coming up, man. It ain't coming up, you know. <laughs> I, I, I wish it came up. But yeah, hey, that was it. Yeah, man. Before you yeah, say one more thing. Go oh, here we go. All I ask is when you lay your head on that pill at night, you know, I gave you everything I had. You did. I gave you everything I had. Yo, Skip is so nasty so for that. Fake. You, you did. did. <laughs> you did. He could have left that point right out there, bro. Yeah, man. All right, guys. Hey, uh, Mississippi, man. stand up. What's good? I'll let you boy, man. Yeah, yeah.